This is really the fighter and the kid. Come on, baby. Yeah. I just, I just debunk conspiracies. Sam believes everything's a conspiracy. Thank Wait, you, you debunk them yeah, or you Sam's promote them? Sam's a conspiracy them? theorist. I see. And I, see. I, and I debunk them. Got it. Got it. Okay. Or I you kind of get annihilated, though, you. right? Well, it's tough when you're talking like a flat earther if they know their. Sh and yeah, arguing people. That's what's fun. And you don't. You're like, well, it's round. Like, yeah. why though? You're like, they, they, come they, on, dude. It's yeah. round. They're like, yeah, but sure. if you and when they're that's like have their black belt and arguing flat Earth, I don't know if you tried it. They steamroll through. Well, you. that's the problem. You feel like, stupid. They, you, you also are arguing on the same plane, and no, the, the there's, there's facts and no. The facts. fundamental difference between a conspiracy theorist and myself is this: conspiracy theorists actually believe there's a small group of people that have the ability to control literally everything. <laughs> And, like, sure. like and, the deep state? Yes, and plan yeah, sure. ahead. And aren't even... So So the problem with anything is that people have different points of view. Go to a barbershop and there'll be six different points of view. You know, it's a, the, human beings aren't like that. Everybody has a different way to solve a problem. Everybody right. has, sees a different problem. Everybody believes this isn't a problem, this is a problem. And how it affects them. And, the yeah. Fed has their idea of what to do with inflation and Congress has their idea of what's politically expedient. Right. It goes on and on. So the idea that there's this small group of bankers, and by the way, most conspiracy theories <laughs> usually have the Jews at yeah, the top. You know, the, you know, globalists, really right. the globalists. Yeah, yeah. the globalists, yeah. which is which is code for Jews. Right. I mean, you know, but but if you look at it at the end of the day, you're like, you think that they, and by the way, they're in the Vatican, the Buckingham Palace. Sure. Was, but the Vatican, Buckingham Palace, and yeah. somewhere in Antarctica or Switzerland. And the TSA. I've heard they're in the TSA. And the TSA. Yeah. Yeah. At all and, tracks. Yeah. But, the problem is you can't, but the problem is like some of the stuff they've gotten right so then they're like, well, everything's right. 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 Sure. Uh, right. But sure. some of it, they're dead on. That's the issue. They're dead on, but not in the causes. They might be dead on. So, for example, you could say there are money. There <laughs> That's are why money. we brought you guys on just talking good, about good. No, conspiracy. I, I just, good. No, but there are just money good. interests that align. You can have, like, corporate sure. interests. And they can, if, if uh, big tech and corporate, they start, they sort of, big pharma, there's a like-minded big, big pharma. pharma. Everybody's making money off a narrative. I can see people kind of going, well, they're you know. all in cahoots, though, Pete. You can't say that they're all broken clock. It just happened to it's right twice a day. Are these well, that's the problem. Theories, are they scared, or are they confident? It's a community. Like a these, it's a community, so they're, they're <laughs> like a lot of them can be terrified, right? Of like the well, thing that's out there. That's gonna kill them. <laughs> those are the those are the ones that stay at home. The ones like Sam are great because Sam is just a comedian who loves the idea that you know there are there. Sam has a deep, deep moral compass. You know Sam uh, Tripoli. Uh -uh. He's, a, he's, a, he's, a, he's one of the great comics that not enough people know about. And How he's he hasn't also, been canceled is beyond me. He's, also, but he's, he's, he's like a 90s comic. Yeah. Like some of the stuff you're, okay. he says on stage, like, you're not allowed to say anything. Like, what are you doing? Yeah, he's, yeah, yeah. he's always funny. He's an amazing podcaster, and he's just awesome. But also, I think conspiracy people, the, the conspiracy is always more entertaining than the actual truth. Mm -hmm. So it's yes, way yes, more yes, fun. Yes, yes, yes. It's way more fun. It's a Hollywood yeah. movie. What is the conspiracy that's been, uh, that they've been correct about? Uh, I mean, we'll get banned for YouTube, but the <laughs> pandemic, yeah, they were right on that. <laughs> okay. Like the whole control, all that stuff, they're right on that. JFK, obviously, the big one. Uh huh. The but one we that, don't know if JFK. Oh come on! Oh, wait, wait, they're right on JFK. Come on! That, no, the government at this JFK? point is just stupid. But 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 but, but, but I understand. <laughs> no, come you're on, that one's so easy. It, it, it's very, you, it's you very, it's very shooter? enticing to think. But I don't know that we have, we still don't have any actual measurable proof. But why is that? Like that magic why is bullet that? apparently no, but, didn't exist. Uh, yeah, of course. But yeah. why is that though? They still have documents that they won't release. Yeah. Even Trump was like, I'm going to release it. Yeah. He released some of it, but was like, I can't release this. Yeah, I don't know. What I do you think, think that is? Do, do I think that there were people in power who had, who could have, could have, Probably orchestrated the assassination of a president. Probably because JFK was against Curtis LeMay. Vietnam, was, Curtis LeMay was stuff. no stranger Cuba. to killing lots of people. He didn't want to go to war. Germans and especially Japanese. But. That one's easy though. That's on. Un yeah, but I mean, they're, we're talking about you know sixty years ago now, right? But, but, it's but, conspiracy but it's of sixty possible, years ago. It's also possible that one lone gunman killed somebody. It's also sure. possible that, that happens more often than not. A lone gunman does something like assassinate someone or kill people. So my, I always go with the, the sort of the least sexy option, which is, yes, could be. I hear you. Well, most signs point towards the could be. Almost the majority of signs point. Especially well, when people start talking about ballistics, I've had my, I've had, <laughs> when I had my friend who has done a lot of killing said, hey, dude, you guys don't know what the fuck you're talking about when it comes to ballistics. That is exactly how a head can go sometimes. Take it from a guy who's done a lot of headshots, you know, so <laughs> we don't know. I mean, I, again, it's like sure. we, all of us are talking. I hear did you. Did you listen to Oliver Stone, who literally has his master's I did, in JFK? I did, I did, and I think, 
I think that that you was listen, very you convincing. You listen to Robert F. Kennedy, who it's his uncle. Like people would know more than us, is what I'm saying. Yeah, I, buddy, guess, blows I don't know. Heads off. Sixty years ago. I'm saying they know more than us, though. He just said his buddy. I know, but doesn't mean they know. So so did you go in the window? Did you see the window? Did you go there? Uh, That's a shot I could take. Yeah, Cal. Of course it is. It is. With that old gun? 100%. It's a very accurate gun. M1? It was an M1? Yeah, I know you hang out. I shot deer. Shot deer from much farther away. (laughs) Okay. So so that that shot, as the the car's coming, that shot is is as easy to make as you can imagine. Sure. It is. Oliver Stone begged to differ, and also, but, 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 and then but, also, but, but, a, I, I a mean, Navy, a I Navy, saw it. Y- you saw it, but a Navy SEAL recreate that shot and couldn't do it. That's that. And Oliver Stone's a little bit of a crazy but, guy. That's what they do for Oliver Stone, a little bit of a crazy guy. Yes, and also a little kooky? Navy SEAL who did it. That's for the. No, you, that's you, for you, sure. well, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like it. Can you well, see? That's a little, a, I don't know. See, he's a little drunk. Can you see oh, how? Yeah, I think so. You know. Can you please see how? Anyone puts that much time into it? It's like sure, sure. Does a full documentary and then a movie about it too? Yeah. And what does he, he say? Not a hard he shot. Says, not a hard he's, shot. He's, a single, one, he's 100% positive there's more than one shooter. Right. And sure. it was not just the lone shooter. Sure, sure. But and the government was yeah. involved. We can CIA argue that. You're, you might be right. Like, we can argue that for right? 60 years. That might be a conspiracy that. that I can see getting behind. <laughs> I'm not saying that. I, I like, have to admit, you know, I've, I've forgotten about it. It's been so long since I've talked about this. That's because it happened yeah. 60 years ago. Yeah. Literally. <laughs> yeah, I just think that most conspiracies this guy goes, no, 100 times over, and hell no. To we the 10th power we uh when we were starting out in new york city we did a sketch about uh, jfk's assassination what? it was a laundry detergent commercial where they were like this gets out tough stains we snuck into the smithsonian and got jfk's blood stained shirt and we've got you know jfk written in white on the shirt but we made that joke on stage and a, there was a fucking gasp from the audience and my father, who's from Argentina, got me right after the show, came up to me. He's like, don't you ever do that a sketch again. <laughs> JFK was a great man. Don't you ever do that again. And I think Kevin was getting the same thing. I was. He couldn't touch it. And, you know, that was 40 years after the yeah. fact. And you're you still going to make you a joke. You said that to me. I'm going to do that joke all the time now. Yeah. Yeah. It was a funny bit. I mean, it was a it was a commercial we shot, like a parody commercial. But isn't that the JFK murder? It's interesting because when you go to Dallas, there's like... They're really like Asian people, like you know, they have the X. They're like laying in the street taking selfies, oh, and Jesus. you're like, a guy Jesus. died here. I, I know, know it's been sixty years, but it's still dark, Terrible. man. I yeah, know. like people have fun with her, like, uh, like with the picture, like what's that? There's a line of people. Yeah. Sure. God. And then I always gravitate towards the one, uh, the guy who gives the tours. There's the real, you know, the the. The woke tour, the soy tour. <laughs> that he does. His dad was in the CIA, by the way. Wait, wait so what are you saying? There, there's the tour for the sheep, am I right? And then there's, then there's always like the Why weird guy with an eye patch. Is like, you want the real truth? I'm like, sure do. <laughs> yeah. Then you jump in like his old Cadillac and go down. Sure. Yeah, it's like ten bucks. Sure, are you go warehouse. Oh yeah, he had a Cadillac. I only do it. Really? He had the Cadillac. <laughs> I only do the sheep tour, dude. That, the JFK thing is the one thing that you kind of go. You, you hundred and ten percent. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you've read books on it. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, I think it's interesting. How many times have you taken the tour? Uh, every time I'm there. <laughs> and so not the fake tour. Not the one you got. <laughs> the eye patch tour. But don't, yeah. You, yeah, but yeah. You, don't you want to hear that point of view, though? Like I've, I've heard it, though. I know all of that. So I've done the real tour. My first time I went there, I was like, of course. Yeah, well, he, Lee Harvey Oswald was apparently like a patriot. He wasn't a communist. Like he no, went he to, went over to Russia. He went to Cuba and Russia. But, he, went, but, he went to Russia and, and, gave up and wanted to give up his citizenship here and work for Russia. Wasn't, that the, wasn't the idea, I think Olive Stone said, the idea was that he might have been a spy for yes. like CIA. Yep. So he was yep. doing that because he was yep. an actual staunch anti-communist. Yep. It's and a tangled web, guys. It's, oh, it goes <laughs> deep. <laughs> Jack <laughs> Ruby who shot well, him. That's yeah. crazy. Was that, in the mafia. It gets deep. Yeah, that's yeah. what's weird. How did Jack, why did Jack Ruby shoot him? That makes no sense. Then he had cancer and died. That's and then Jack right Ruby, weird. when he was in prison, they would never let him do an interview. He was like, hey, I want to tell the truth. They're like, oh, you'll figure it out. And then he died of cancer. It's all weird, man. Oh, fuck. But you guys keep going on your... Regular tours, okay? But don't, am I a woke sheep? No, yeah, yeah. I mean, you're sheep, yeah. <laughs> you're going to take whatever. The but you could find out the truth tomorrow and it wouldn't matter because it was 60 fucking years ago. <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, like it could have been a it could have been a communist conspiracy, <laughs> but the Soviet Union is a different place. You know, whatever. It doesn't fucking matter. The years only years way that was surprised if like it was an alien. Then we'd be like, whoa! If there was what? I- an alien. If it was an alien, yeah. yes. Then people be, like, this is insane. But I feel like then we would know more shit about Kevin, the aliens. You grew up in Boston, or I grew up in Connecticut. Connecticut. Yeah. Whereabouts? Uh, New Haven. You a Pat's West fan? Haven, Connecticut. No, I'm a I'm a Giants fan. Really? Giant New York football Giants. We had season tickets growing up. How about you? I'm New York City. 
Oh yeah. But you speak Spanish, huh? My father's an immigrant. I, now that you Argentina. now that you said you're Argentinian, all I can see is a Spanish man in front of me. Right? That, yeah, he's Latino. That he's the uh, he's the most uh, uh, successful Latino showrunner in Hollywood. I did not know this guy. I like that. Do, yeah. you, do you speak uh, <laughs> <laughs> in Spanish? Si, yo hablo mucho. Oh. Wow. Do you yeah, speak Spanish? With an accent. Do you guys speak Spanish? No, my my wife is like super Mexican. And I, okay. I mean, at forty, I'm not going to pick up Spanish. Isn't right? your wife oh, Mexican on. and yeah. Italian? Uh, splash of Italian. She speaks Italian. So is he. Italian. Yeah, well, Leme is like, so the Argentina faction came from Italy like five generations ago. They moved to uh, Argentina and, uh, and my mom. It's Spanish for lemming. Do, you, do yeah, your kids exactly. speak Spanish? Like cheap. I burn. Uh, we're giving them Spanish classes. Like they yeah. take Spanish classes. But not, like you, you didn't speak in the house, them growing up? No. Yeah. No, I mean, my wife doesn't speak Spanish. Yeah, that's tough. Uh, and we, we, you know, when I was growing up, my dad had to learn English. So we were speaking English in our house. My mom was his English teacher. That's, that's how, how they met. met. Yeah. Oh, that's dope. Is that right? Yeah, he came uh, to New York when he was 30. Wow. His dad was that one guy in that, you know, English class that got the teacher. Yeah. And Very I mean, rare. Like that one you always think that might happen. He yeah, got dog. He got her, right? Fucked her. Couple times. Couple times. That's your mom, dude. Yeah. That's your mom. Her. Well, cause it's funny because he, he uh, it's told like us. like Tony Montana, right? I'm going to get her. Yeah, he got her. Well, that's the Latin. He fucked her. That's the Latin. He <laughs> fucked her. <laughs> well, guys, that's kind of aggressive. It's aggressive. Well, here's, love. here's the thing about in well, that was Argentina. seventy years ago. So don't worry about that shit. Bro. Yeah, that was sixty five. But I feel oh, like back, it'd be, I feel back like, then they fucked. I feel like it'd be easy to pick up your English teacher. But every guy in that class is trying to do it. Oh, because you everyone every wants Latin to fuck stud the in that class. Every, I took uh, I took We're a foreign language. Friend, yeah. I took a foreign language in. Uh, uh, you fucked the teacher. Yeah, you did. Yeah. What, uh, what Are language? you one up in his parents' story right well, now? It happened. I've, I've known him forever. Yeah. What yeah. happened? It happened. What language? Uh, French. So you were in a class learning French. I was taking a private. And you fucked your French teacher? Tutor. And this older man taught him French. <laughs> 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 so it's pretty cool, man. That's Same hot. story. That's Same hot. story, man. That's hot. And the French guys yes. are not circumcised. Jean-Jacques was my teacher. He would teach you. <laughs> Jean-Jacques would teach you French. You'd suck him off, right? Uh, listen. And he, you still he told speak me French? I identified as a woman. Oui, je parle français. Yeah. No, I you don't. You do a little uh, bit. A little I mean, bit. You can I, mess I, around with it. I mess around with it. I fucked a teacher's wife. You did? What? One of my high school teachers. Slight flex. What? Like teacher's really? wife. Hold on. Fuck okay. his wife. You did? <laughs> yeah. So, Hold on. Can, can you, you discuss you, it? So you're, this was your teacher. <laughs> he was my teacher. You were a senior. No. So it was uh, uh, the was next year when I was a freshman in was college. Sixth grade. Oh. <laughs> so the next year I was a freshman in college. I was back in New York and we ran into each other. You oh. don't say. And you're like, you want to get drinks? She's hey, like, and how, how's Mr. Patterson doing? Was now, that kind of how old, how old was she? And were they swingers? What was the so story? So she was like 30 or 32. Wow. And you're 21? I was like 18 or 19. Ooh, boy. And, and, Ooh, and, if that's the other way. Yeah, then that's... I'd yeah. say edit this story. Yeah, that's dangerous. <laughs> yeah. But now this is cool. Well, yeah, this I, is a good one. <laughs> yeah. yeah this she, she had a, she had a, did you have that mustache or no? I did not have <laughs> this mustache. You were clean, clean <laughs> I don't. I don't know what happened. I was. I was charming. Yeah. I was on my game. Fun yeah. kid. And what she. You have long hair. Then you have long hair. Uh no, not yet. Okay. I bet the husband's like, I love fighting a kid. Oh, I know that guy. Yeah. The oh. fuck? He fucked my wife. Yeah. Yeah. He's probably not, he's probably not around yeah. anymore. He probably knows. How he probably knows. knows. They're, they're divorced. They, they might have been swingers or maybe. Uh, well, she confessed that they hadn't had sex in two years. Oh, okay. okay well, you can't leave your I mean, it's your, win. it's your duty. At this. And did you like have sex in their Lemmy marital there? bed? I did. In their marital bed? But not that first time. That first time, okay. actually. Oh, more than oh, once. more than one. Wow. Okay. Well, the first <laughs> time, well, we had an affair. We had a seedy little <laughs> affair. Wow, this is hot, man. The first, the first time, uh, I actually fucked her in an alley. Oh, boy. And uh, In New Savage. York City, because she couldn't go to her house, and I was living at home with my parents. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Round upon. and so we did it in an alley. Kind of gross. Wow! In New York, standing up, standing up. Upper West Side, Upper East Side, Upper West. Okay. Wow. Uh, wow. And then I went back to college, but she and I kept in touch. And then when I came back to the city the next time, summer break, we yeah. st we started to meet in like poorly lit restaurants. And then I I went to their house. He was out of town. Okay. And I and I butt fucked her. Oh God! Yeah. Now we're <laughs> really <laughs> finding out some stuff here. <laughs> yeah, <I was> <laughs> you're, you're, you're a closet perv. Huh? Look at you. Yeah, we're really finding out some stuff. Over you it, was her idea. it was her Why'd idea. you look this way and this way? Hey, Nobody's I just wanted to make sure he's, <laughs> he's not around. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> man, this is <laughs> a I don't want anybody to hear this. <laughs> Have you ever had this happen to you, dude? That is hilarious. I had. I had. I was not ready. I'm not ready for that. 
AB, let's take a little break with our friends from Tacoma FD, two of the funniest guys in the business. Steve, let me, Kevin Heffernan. Because you guys, if you love money, you can make bank with our friends at DraftKings Sportsbook. You could win big with money lines, props, parlays, and more. Right now, new customers can score $150 in bonus bets instantly for betting just $5 on anything. You got a UFC fight night coming up. You got the MLB. You got the All-Star game. There's so many ways to make bank, bro. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app right now. Use code FIGHTER. That's code FIGHTER only at DraftKings Sportsbook. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER in New York. Call 877-8-HOPE-NY or text HOPE-NY 467-369. In West Virginia, visit www.1800gambler.net in partnership with Hollywood Casinos at Charlestown Races. All games regulated by the West Virginia Lottery. Please play responsibly. In Connecticut, help is available for problem gambling. Call 888-789-777 or visit ccpg.org. On behalf of Boot Hill Casino and Resorts, Kansas City, uh, 21 and over in most eligible states, but age varies by jurisdiction. See Jeff, DraftKings.com, sportsbook for details and state specific responsible gambling resources. Bonus bets expire seven days after issuance. Eligibility and deposit restrictions apply. Terms at sportsbook.com, DraftKings.com slash baseball terms. If you're still listening, download DraftKings. Promo code is FIGHTER. Just a correction, so it's... The number is 888-789-7777 and terms at sportsbook.draftkings.com slash baseball terms. Don't yell at us, Jen. Just making sure. All right. I had, I had this happen. I had a very, very close friend. Very close okay. friend. Okay, okay. His longtime girlfriend, they had broken up. We were all hanging out. Yeah. We were all hanging out. I got, for whatever reason, I got the idea that it was okay for me to have sex with his girlfriend. Never okay. But the way he was talking, was you like, thought it was okay. Yeah, because the way he was talking, he was like, you, you know, he was like, you guys are hitting it off, and I was like, green fucking like, he's yeah. one of my closest friends to this day. Yeah, you can't it's do now me. Watch it's this. me, guys. No, I can't do that. <laughs> yeah, it's you. I go oh, home. My kid. My I take her home to his place. Oh I'm Jesus! Team players. Oh, you're a piece of shit. You can't do that. And we you uh, bastard. Yeah, we we didn't have sex. I got I got I got a bone. <laughs> Look, and to look, this day, look both ways. And then she goes, and then she said, and I was like, woohoo. I didn't even mention to him. I figured he knew. Uh, we were talking. I, 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 what happened? He wasn't staying there. He was staying with another girl. Brian's a liability, huh? Can't yeah. bring around your girl, man. And then uh, we're at a bar, like and she goes like this to me. She goes, uh, literally a month later, she goes, whatever you do, don't tell him. He would die. And I go, <laughs> what? <laughs> What do you mean? He was like, well, your head, like you we're close like, like you and I. This. Close like you and I. Yeah, so dude, I was like, you can't I was like, girl. What? Don't be selfish. <laughs> Don't be selfish. But I mean, I was like, what do you mean he would die? He's my friend. Like, you, are you I still friends? This. Yeah, one of my closest friends still. To, the, to this day? Still doesn't know. Do I know. It didn't. You sure do. Oh, he doesn't know. You sure do oh, know. I bet I know. And then, and then, oh, okay. uh, I remember oh, in high school, well, really same situation. Yeah. Same situation. He had graduated, but he was my friend. And then it's a different friend. Yeah, and then she made it, she made it seem like it was that fine. <laughs> and then so I had sex with her. Okay. And then she said, <laughs> and then I'm talking to him on the phone, and I and I and I, and I was I'm like ha ha, and I was gonna I was like hey you know I was gonna be like thanks, and she goes, don't bring it up, and I go, hey how stupid are what you? What the fuck is going on? So that's the. That's I like, like, he's like, what? Yeah. <laughs> this is insane. <laughs> hey, hey, you've been. Hey, call your next tour. Victim. Brian call your next tour. I'm the victim, You Steve. should call your next tour. I'll fuck your girl. Yeah. Dude, Brian's the victim. These girls are toxic. Yeah, because yeah. you've been you living with these secrets, too, right? For, it it hurt, probably hurts, hurts you, man. Yeah, yeah, on the inside, it hurts you. Man. And I actually kind of feel bad about it. You should. Yeah, you should. This is like therapy. Yeah. So. Get it off your chest, man. And I. Yeah, who else? Who other? Who else? Listen, man. I, 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 was, I was in Australia at one time. You stopped by my house. There's man. not a shot your kids are mine because your children are the size of me already. Yes. And they're, they're seven, <laughs> yeah. they're seven and, and three. Their could hands they, are as big as mine. Could they? Could they beat you up? My well, seven year old beat the shit. His up, kid man. is. His kid has got his genetics, and he's a gorilla. He had baseball today. You know. I mean, you guys have kiddos. But he had yeah. baseball today. It was like this high elite camp, and he made the cut for baseball. So he was all nervous, and I, I think it's good for him. But I go to drop him off at camp this morning. And all the kids, because they they're on like travel teams and like all buddies yeah. and seven through ten. 
But you see all the kids like playing together. I took a picture, sent to Brian. I go, I call this picture the loneliest boy in the world because all the kids are out there playing. And he's in the dugout just with his glove, and no one's talking to him. <laughs> oh, and as a dad, I'm like, breaks oh. your heart. I was like, oh no. Yeah, but so I went through that. I'm like, yeah, yeah. I can't be like, hey, Tiger, meet whatever, you know. Yeah. So I just had to leave him. I was like, oh no. He's so cute. How lonely yeah. is that picture? Yeah. But his neck is this oh thick. God, he's that's so he's terrible. He's like so this. big. I was like, strong. somebody's going to come that along. Picture, he's Somebody told me a story uh, about a school like that. He's probably that. fucking the manager's wife, too. He might Good be. chance, too. Good <laughs> chance. But, like, there's a special bench, and if you're feeling lonely, you go sit on the bench, and then all the other kids know that you want them to come talk to you. Where's that at? Uh, some school, some some friend of mine sent it. Like, has to be in LA. School. That's an LA. Thing. Yeah, because it's like, it's that same thing. The kid's sitting there, like, lonely, and now if the kid's sit on that bench... The other kids know they should go talk to him to be nice to him. Man, we gotta hope those other kids know that that's like the. But not, we're not at the baseball. Kid, we call that the loser bench. That's I right. I don't think I'd have the guts to go sit on that bench either. Well, what do you, you know? Is there a cool bench? I might sit on the gold maybe, cool bench. Maybe, maybe it's the maybe. cool this bench. This is the guy who doesn't know. want people to come talk to him. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I, you, as a parent, like I remember my parents dropped me off when I was in sixth grade at the University of Colorado football camp, <clears> and you're staying in the dorm for two weeks. Yeah. I didn't have any friends. I, it's just. I did the exact same thing. He has to learn those, you know, he has to learn those kind of hardships you know but yeah it's heartbreaking as a dad i did that i went we to make a, friends buddy i went yeah. to a soccer camp when i was 11 in connecticut and uh i told all the kids that i was a street fighter from new york city hell yeah <laughs> and they believed me they fucking believed me <laughs> who else wants some? and who then the and then the older kids like the 14 year old kids came down to our floor to fucking rumble and i was in in my fucking dorm room and i, I heard one of them go them. like hey you watch out we got a guy here. He's a street fighter from New York City. I was like, <laughs> I was fucking <laughs> under the cover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to fucking come out there. Yeah. I would have got my. Ass I had right. a guy, uh, Nick. Nick, my buddy, said uh, who's my feature, said that there, there. A guy asked him. A guy goes, "Hey, uh, how would?" Uh, he was talking about some comic, maybe Preacher Lawson, who's an awesome guy. Love Preacher. But he was like, uh, well, "He should fight Brendan. They should do a fight." And I was like, "Don't you can't you can't get that twisted now." Don't, Preacher Lawson's athletic and very Oh, because Preacher wants to fight, right? Yeah, but for not a fight? you. That'd be no, a that, bad no, situation. No, nor would I, <laughs> nor would I ever. I know, but I was like, and Nick, I love Nick, Nick, who was a wrestler, looked at yeah. the guy and goes, that would be a very bad idea for anybody. For everybody you know, involved. The, anybody There's no in upside comedy. for me. Preacher's no. a great guy. Yeah. But do you have a thing like, like so I was saying Stipe came and did that episode of Tacoma FD, and like he, he brought his, you know, he was getting ready for that nagano fight and so his trainers were with the him second fight yeah the second fight and so he was working out while we were while we were shooting but i was like for stipe and his trainer i was like this must be fucking annoying because everybody who has done any sort of mixed martial arts or wrestling is coming up to them and oh, with advice like, and tips. with advice and like this <laughs> is what i do and maybe we yeah. could like i could train with you <laughs> yeah and, like, man and they, they just guys. nodding and taking it and you know yeah, he's stipe. used to it yeah, yeah. But it, how how was he on set? He's a good dude. He's fucking great. He's like such a good person. Such, such a, good, a guy. good guy. Yeah. The <laughs> biggest head on the, uh, not not. I'm saying physically the biggest head I've ever seen. Huge. Well, His head is. Giant. So it was funny because we we the, like the plot of the episode is he comes, and does like our firefighters have a podcast and he does their podcast, but they've been trashing him, <laughs> and he just stops by because he's doing a fight in Tacoma, <laughs> and he's looking at all the firefighter houses, and so he. He does their podcast, but then he finds out that they were trashing him. Oh, that's funny. And so he comes back and fucking kicks the shit out that's of all so of them. That's so funny. Uh, and so our, our, our uh, AD was like, do you want to get like uh, some stunt uh, doubles in here? Because like sometimes these like real fighters get excited mm -hmm. and they can hurt people. And I was like, no, it's going to be fine. It's going to be like, you know, f like he's just slapping them. Yeah. It's and TV. so mm -hmm. yeah, it's TV. It'll TV. be totally fine. TV. It'll be fine. Stipe knows that. Mm -hmm. The first take, uh, uh, he's supposed to smack our, the guy Gabe who plays like crystal six foot four guy he takes the first swing and you know gabe is supposed to go down and all of a sudden uh stipe looks in where because we're like shooting from behind a door and he and he's like holy shit i hit him i hit him for real and and we all start laughing we think it's a little bit that they're yeah. doing and he's like no I, I i seriously i hit your fucking guy and now we see all these like crew members going over he's all yeah <laughs> his fingertip clipped uh our guy's nose and that knocked him. <laughs> that fucking yeah. knocked him yeah, yeah. Yeah. to the it's ground. TV but funny. it was like a like a holy shit! He fucking really hit him. And what? like Steve Baby felt terrible. Everybody felt terrible. Was like, that what season was that? Because we guys on season five four, now. Four now. Four. That was three. You guys, are you still like everything else on True TV has been canceled except for Tacoma? I think True TV has been canceled. I, I just never. There's nothing. It's just. Go, it's the Tacoma. <laughs> 
They well, have, Tacoma, yeah, they they Tacoma Jokers. Jokers. Jokers is what it is. Oh, that's, that's, that's on that's, all the time. That's, that's What's on funny all is the Tacoma, time. If I auditioned for the the first season. Yeah, yeah. I auditioned for the first season. That's when I realized, like, Hollywood, like, I was like, I'm a big guy. I'll stick out. And I go, because they're all, like, big firefighters, the role I was supposed to read for. And I sit down. I'm like, oh, everybody looks like me, but better. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, that's how I, like I was like, what is happening right now? Yeah. Everybody's got all like size each other up. They got mustaches. They all look. They, they actually. Oh, no, have, oh no. They're stained with yeah, like yeah. soot. And like, I don't know if they could, excited to meet you. I mean, that's yeah. What, I don't that's know if they could really fight, to, but they, were, they they look like it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, well the guy the guy who got the part it, like you guys were in the waiting room together. Yeah. And this, first of all, when he walked in, we were like, oh, look at his biceps. <laughs> oh, I, oh, I was rock hard. When he sat down, I was like, oh, I'm not getting this. Yeah, but like, at least I got to see what, him. What, was this a role for a fighter? For, no, for, a firefighter. No, it was for a firefighter. Oh, for a firefighter. firefighter. Yeah, but it was yeah. like the big, the big dumb firefighter. He's like, I, he, he's big and fucking oh, jacked and everything. Jacked, yeah. And this guy came in with a mustache, and he's a beautiful, oh, he's a beautiful thing. man. And his <laughs> biceps, we were like, holy What's fucking his name? shit. What's his name? Oh, God. Gabe, his name is Gabe Hogan. Gabe Hogan. Bring up. Oh, Gabe right Hogan. when I saw what him, I was like, check name. please. Yeah. Oh, that's a great name. Yeah. Gabe Hogan. Gabriel Hogan. Yeah, there you go. That's a big, handsome son of a bitch. Yeah, there you go. Oh, well, come on. You're not going to get Yeah, he's a firefighter. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, what are yeah. we doing? I mean, what are you doing? You're not getting that part. I called my agent. I'm like, you ever seen Gabe Hogan, you piece of shit? <laughs> you send me on this goddamn audition? Yeah, click, click on that middle one. Go back up a little bit. There, that one. The, what, one? Right, befo- right below, right below. This one? Yeah. He's also like, look at He's a fucking cock, too. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> he's like he's like uh he he played uh it's a big kid yeah he's done like he, he he started he's canadian he should always have a mustache by the way it's a good look on yeah it's a good look on the mustache thing. yeah never shave the mustache yeah um but, but anyway. he's, the, he's the one that get that steep a hit and he just went down like a fucking i like, bet man like nothing um yeah there he is in his tacoma hat yeah he uh, but but here was here's the thing you did a good job. It's though, supposed man. to be a dumb. Thanks, man. You did a good job. It's man. really That's hard man. to act. You really dumb. did. It's really hard to. Act. It's hard to like. Yeah, not like like yeah. to, like Woody Harrelson did it in Cheers, like yeah. a dumb guy, but he, like because he acted like he was always watching a Disney movie, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. And it's a really yeah. fucking. I think it's it, like that part was where we learned that we're like, holy shit, like nobody it is nailing this, and this guy came in. Yeah, I heard my feelings. You guys said, mm, don't act. I'm just play yourself. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> but just you know, over you're overacting. Perfect. Just do Perfect. what you do in normal life. I was like, <laughs> it's but says really dumb guy in there. Like we know, just play yourself here. <laughs> that's exactly. But right. you know, that's like that's like um, I played a, a guy. I got the part, but then we didn't shoot it. But I remember I had a great note from an acting teacher because I was I, there was a huge rock in the in the way, and you know they were like the idea is how do we get it out of the way, and the line is we can burn it let's burn it he's so dumb right uh. and so so the, no, <laughs> so, yeah, so, so the dumb way to do it at first i was doing it, i was like well let's just burn it you know right and he was like no man you're smarter than everybody in the room yeah you say it with dumb people so i was like guys let's burn it out of the way <laughs> right and then that guy goes well but it's made of rock and i'm like and I have matches. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and then I got the part because I, but I wouldn't have, but that's sure. how smart, yeah. dumb yeah. people are like, you're a fucking idiot. Yeah, they're, they're and, positive. Yeah. They're yeah, well, I have the evidence that there are UFOs because it's in, on the internet. <laughs> that's basically, you know, that's yeah. basically my career. Yeah, 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 yeah it's you my know? life. It's yeah. confidence. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. A confidence. even if you're dead wrong, it's yeah, yeah. It's confidence. that's always how it is. Just dumb as shit people, and we all have some of that in us. My, um, I used to have arguments with my father, and, I would, and I'd be fucking, da, 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 and my father was a, just a nightmare with that. He'd go, wow, did you see the part where you sped up? Do you see how your words sped up? That's the part where you just made that stuff up. Is <laughs> Sometimes when you're arguing, I wish there was just a white flag. We're like, enough. All right. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Just let me out of yeah, here, like man. Especially if you get in an argument with a debater. Or my brother. Oh, your brother be like, hey, your brother it's been so two good. hours, dude. Here's the fucking flag no, I lost. Your brother has Let's every do something else. piece he's of information poking, poking, and poking. will not retreat. Oh, Doesn't raise his voice, oh, but he's nightmare. right here. He's holding his ground. It's, it's like playing tennis against a guy who's always going to hit it back. He's right here with all the information. Don't argue. Don't get an argument. Well, this Porsche is better. What? 
This team is better. <laughs> this guy's better. This guy's a better shooter. And he don't do that unless you you just need a white flag. I'm like, all right, dumbass. What? Why does he do that though? Is it was it something I, in his childhood that makes him? Uh... My dad likes to argue too. I like to argue. Okay. So I think it's just okay. that family dynamic. Okay. But he doesn't realize when he wins. The one you know? time I saw he you guys almost come to blows. <laughs> what are talking about? It's easy to be a parent. And he doesn't have kids. Doesn't I thought have, I was gonna fight him. Having a mom, we, we were in being casino. a mom is not a job. We and you're like, we were in a casino. We just got on a show and he came. And they're my, both really my tour manager. Like, yeah. And he, I just had my first son and we were like going through it, man. Kids not sleeping and I'm exhausted. We off stage. We're like eating after the show, and I know he's like, I mean, being a mom's not a job. It's not a job. It's though. easy. And I was like, what? <laughs> And he's like, it's fucking, what do you feed the kid? It's fucking easy. I'm like, you don't know what you're talking about. And then he wouldn't get off of it. I mean, I'm in his face. like this, because you're a fucking idiot. I'm like, dude, we got to stop. It was this. like That's the brother. Older argument. or younger? Yeah. Older. Older. And okay. he's not backing down. And okay. it doesn't matter if Brennan's a heavyweight in UFC. It doesn't yeah. matter. He would have fought him <laughs> right then, right there. It wouldn't have mattered. It was going to be Did ugly. you guys f fight physically no, when you're no, younger? No, 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 no. Younger, yes. Yeah, yeah awfully. Yeah, hor okay. horrible. I mean, record, did he get the best of you? Oh, or, my record's or? like one in 2000. But the one was good. Yeah. 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 I mean, at some point, you must have come to the place where you could kick the chin. By the time I did, we were best friends, so there's I no see. need to okay. beat him up. But okay. I, mean, I wish I had those skills when I was younger. <laughs> yeah. But he but he made you the man you are today. Yeah, there you go. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I used to fight with my sister, my my older she, sister. And you're one in two thousand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, older sisters are, they're, but they're always strong. Dude. She was they're a ballerina. She was a fucking ballerina, too. and she would she would do she had two moves. She'd call me over and either punch me in the nose, <laughs> or she'd uh, give me a flying kick, like in the chest. <laughs> really, good. Anthony and, Pest style, yeah. Jesus. But finally, I joined the wrestling team, and one time I kicked her ass and Hell smothered yeah. her with a pillow. And, when I brought it up, she was crying, and she was never fucked like, me hey, again. Was your dad like, "Hey, dude, that's a girl. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing?" No, he wasn't home. My mom, my mom was there though. Yeah, my sister, my daughter beats the shit out of her. Like she'll just oh, kick my yeah. my son. My son, like I try to teach him stuff, and he's just not. He's just more of a just a puppet. He's just like a magician. Your, your, you know, your daughter's like, a minus seventeen hundred against yeah, your son. My daughter yeah, is she's is a, a full grown woman. Yeah, and but she's still fifteen. And my son just he keeps doing this because he wants the pain. And finally, she just goes, goosh, with one of her big legs. She's got, my, she's got her mom's legs. Yeah, long. Just long Viking legs. Goosh, <laughs> right in his chest. <laughs> like, he's like, hey, hey, can't breathe. It's just fucking a disaster. But how old is he, though? He's younger. He's 11. He's going to be 12. Okay, so there'll be a time, though, where... Yeah, he hasn't hit... I don't years. know, dude. I don't know if there's a time. She's, you've seen his kids. Like, his daughter's yeah. a savage, man. Does she have a back as muscular as yours? Nobody does. <laughs> I'm just being honest. You see how I I'm set you up for that? What a fucking well, you know great guest guys, I am. It's a, it's a, it's a pull-up regime. Do we? Have, do you guys have a minute? Okay, so what you, you do is... Can I tell you something? I've never done a pull-up in my life. Not even one. That's crazy, because the first thing I've I never done when one I look at you, Kevin, is pull-ups. Pull right? I know. <laughs> I know. Never once? You're not a, you're never not, one you're not a big exercise guy? Uh, I, can't, I do exercise, but I don't. I can't do a pull-up. What do you do exercise-wise? What am I doing exercise for? Don't, don't take this bait. By the way, don't take yeah, this by way. Way. I don't like to look into you his know, eyes. Kevin. You know, when you're interviewing and you're a cop and somebody goes, where did I put the, where did I, where was I? <laughs> where was I on that day? Do I exercise? Yeah. <laughs> do I? I mean, he, do I exercise? He, he, he didn't hear the question at first. Well, I think, but then also where, gets dicey because Brian, you know, he likes to exercise. I think he knows exercising. So it gets dicey too because he's going to ask you that. To give his recommendations, sure, and oh, then the viewership of the podcast. Oh, I'll give I'll give recommendations. He'll give you supplement <laughs> ideas. If you're a professional exerciser, I'll give you recommendations. No, I'll tell sure. you this. I'll, at that moment when you're asking him that question, I think Kevin could read this too. Like, uh, your eyes had the most delight in them so far of this <laughs> session. <laughs> no, oh, I can just. Help. This, he was ready. this was the best. My neighbor. I'm a dick. My neighbor said we should play tennis sometime. I'm such a piece of shit. And uh, I go, uh, I go, I go like this. I go, yeah, but. Are you good? <laughs> and he, he's like me. He's like kind of. He goes, I mean, yeah, I hit the ball. I go, I go. Let me see your stroke. And he goes, he goes. These are two grown men. He goes like that. He goes like that. He's I, go, I go like this. I go. You don't follow through. I can't play with you. I just walk out. <laughs> <laughs> and I was ninety percent serious. Are your kids in sports? Yeah, big time. Yeah, my daughter plays. Uh, she plays, you know, on the coll collegiate level now. She oh, plays, damn. She plays lacrosse Jeez. and um, cross country. Love lacrosse. My wife is athletic. I mean, I, you know, I'm an athletic guy. Don't get me wrong, Callan. Yeah. I'm not saying it. But uh, I'm just saying happening. I've never done a pull-up pull before. That's one I, thing I've never done, and I never will. Okay. I can't I Fine. can't. Get Even in my, high school, like middle school, never. never the I was the kid who couldn't climb the rope. You know, in, in gym class, you had to climb the rope. 
Never climbed the rope, you never did to, a pull-up. You, uh, Not everybody you, has lots like me. That's true. So, sure. and, and, you know, and I brought up your back it's because heavy every time I've seen you do stand-up comedy, usually the whole routine is about your back. It's pretty much it. And the sinew. <laughs> it's still I'm, sinew. I'm, I'm a one-note comic. Yeah. I'm a one-note yeah. guy. It works, though. It yeah, works. It, it, you know, maybe. And squats sometimes, squats. I, squats, you got to hit did, squats. Did your kids want to get into Hollywood at um, all? They have. We put them in Tacoma a little bit. Um, they've gone through stretches where they have. We put them in, uh, I put them in Super Troopers, the last Super Troopers movie. Uh, but it's kind of like... We have this kind of family that makes these shows and these movies, and they know everybody, and like they know the, and the crew and the sound guy's been with us for twenty five years and comes to my house That's for cool. barbecues. So it's like you know. That's so cool. When they the do family. it, they, it's like it's like family. Yeah, yeah, it's not like an uncomfortable like going to a set or auditioning or whatever. Yeah. So uh, I, they don't have any uh, aspirations to do it, you know. But you Super know. Troopers is truly a cult classic. Though. Yeah. Hey, tell me if this is right or wrong. This is the the urban legend going around online. The Super Troopers just DVD sales was over hundred million dollars. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, hundred million dollars, yeah. Brian. So you guys yeah. got some cash? No, we well, didn't. It's get funny because we didn't get the, the, the deal. The deal that we made, <laughs> we, didn't get the we cash. all we wanted was we to have a movie in one theater. Like back then, we were you know we made that movie independently for a million bucks. Damn. Tina Meyer's a friend of mine. Oh really? I love her. Yeah. Who's that? <laughs> I don't know who that is. <laughs> Tina Meyer. She was in Super Troopers. Dina or Tina? Dina. Dina what Meyer. what uh, well, let me just what part part let me make sure the podcast came to screeching halt. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> what part Dina does she? Myers. Is that her? She no, 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 she's in you're, you're she's she's Starship Troopers. She's in Starship Troopers. Right. You motherfucker. I'm sorry, stupid. You I'm sorry. You want to book the stupid guy? You fucking asshole. I love that you guys are talking about super troopers and he goes, Morgan Freeman's a friend of mine. Do you <laughs> still think it's a cult classic? Do you think still think it's a cult classic, Callan? Oh, because you thought there was aliens. You know, <laughs> you piece of shit. That's the one. I sat next to a guy in a plane. I'm and, sorry. We, and he asked me about my career and I was talking about super troopers and he's like, I love that fucking movie. And you're awesome in it. I was like, thank you very much. He's asking questions about the film business. We're talking 30 fucking minutes on the plane. <laughs> and at the end, he, he's like, and what was the budget? I was like, a million and a quarter. He's like, a million and a quarter? What about uh, all the bugs? <laughs> and I was like, you're thinking of Starship Troopers. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. What uh, movie are you talking about? I was oh, like, like, Super Troopers. He's like, oh, I've, I've never heard of that movie. But meanwhile, he said he loved me. <laughs> yeah, and I was fucking yeah, excellent yeah. in the movie. <laughs> It's a movie where we play um, cops, Callan. Yeah, yeah, it's I a movie know. where we play cops. I, I don't know. I thought it Mike was Weaver's weird. in it. You're friends with Mike Weaver. I love Mike <laughs> Weaver's the best. Boy, that was weird. I'm flabbergasted. What? Yeah, I'm so I'm sorry, guys. I'm flabbergasted. I knew it was going to go south. Brian's like, I, I love that movie. I and as you're telling the story, he goes, Tom Hanks is a friend. I was like, <laughs> What? No, I was testing you guys to make sure you guys were the real guys. Got it, got it, got it. We have a lot of uh, deep fakes in here. Yeah, Yeah. Yeah. that's a good recovery. It's also kind of like maybe Dina is the one who's been telling you the bullshit story. (laughs) (laughs) Dina's full of shit. (laughs) She maybe she is. But you guys, you guys made that movie in hopes to be in one theater. We want to be in one theater, and they put us on I think like twelve hundred screens. But the deal we made at the time was like preposterous. Like they, the the claim by the studio was that the amount of money they were going to spend, like they weren't going to break even. Until the movie the had made a hundred million dollars. Oof! And we were, you know, wow. But also, the guy who put the money up. I mean, we, you know, we sold our firstborn child. You know, there's a guy who put up a million bucks. It's whatever it took, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah whatever it took. Time. And, and you know, he he did very well. But like, uh, it was also in that moment, like, and it doesn't exist anymore. But when DVD was king, you know, it was Big like, time. you know, they could make them for five cents and they sell them for twenty bucks. It's harder and harder to make money, them, right? You know? Like off film, because you guys are in that where writing a film, shooting a film. Selling a film, it's very hard to make money, isn't it? Well, yeah, because it, it depends on who distributes it. But you can't. It's, well, it's hard to find you, out how much money they spend. You know. Yeah. Yeah, which is why you take the fees up front. Yeah. Because they're gonna fuck you. They're gonna one hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah, that that idea of I'm gonna get back end points. Okay. Uh, once the movie starts, it turns a profit. Okay. But then you you guys came up where like you guys I know you, New York and Connecticut, but you guys yeah. met where like how did this dynamic duo come together? We went to college together. We went to Colgate University in upstate New York. Mm, so toothpaste. all of us there's like school, there five of us. Good toothpaste. Good school. Good toothpaste. Very good school. Yeah, good school. He and, hated um, me. He hated me. What did you study? Political science. You? I was a fine arts. I was a painter. You were a painter? Painter. Yeah. He, this guy gets more fucking Spanish. As, as he really does. Unbelievable. Yeah. Or a beret. Wow. Did you, did, when did you, <laughs> holy shit. Now, dude. did you. Yeah, no shit you're fucking girls, man. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah, did dude. You go, when, how long was the gay phase, though? Did you have <laughs> a lot of guys or, or. You know, listen, you say that, but yeah. like the whole thing was my friend Sperber was like, dude, let's be art majors. <laughs> 
and, and he was like, I've been to the art studio. There are so many hot chicks over there. He, he's like, and they drink wine. He's like, let's go drink wine and paint things and hang out with these chicks. I was like, I'm so fucking in. Yeah. This so, yeah. Is exactly did, what I want to be doing. Didn't your dad say, I go, but do you like money? Yeah, my father would have been like, <laughs> come over here. What did you say to me? Yeah. Like, I would have gotten You think I paid for you to go to culture? You could paint Yeah, I think ass? you would have punched me in the face for, for real. Like, yeah. And here's the thing. So my father was a chemical engineer in Argentina. Oh, wow. And at age 30, he was like, there must be a better, he said it in Spanish, but there must be a better life in America. And so he left Argentina at age 30 and came to America. He didn't speak any English. He couldn't get a job because they were like, fuck this English teacher. First of all, you, you have to, you have <laughs> no, to learn English. Yeah, we know. <laughs> and also you have to have an American degree in chemical engineering. So now he had to go back to chemical engineering school. So he's already done this. Jesus. So another four years in chemical engineering and he's learning English at the same time. He couldn't get a job. So he was selling hot dogs <clears throat> in Times Square and he was a dishwasher at a restaurant. God dang. Uh, he fucked his uh, English teacher. Yes. Anyway. Yeah. My mom times. then went on to be a, a, a Spanish teacher. Well, he did. And it's clear that he oh, fucked her on the first night. Because uh, he said <laughs> then, he was like, the, the first date was dinner. The second date was breakfast together. <laughs> like, You're fucking it. Dirty He's like, your mother. <laughs> <laughs> Only from she behind. Could I didn't see her face the whole time. <laughs> she could well, you know, it's a it's a custom in Argentina when you fall in love with a woman, you follow her home to make sure she gets home safely. Well, that's assault, bro. And I was like, Dad, yeah. that's yeah. fucking stalking. Yeah, yeah. And here, yeah, and America's he, assault. Yeah, and he was like, no, no, this is a flirtation. You, you let her know you are uh, following her home. I'm like, that's fucking worse. Yeah, dude. <laughs> that's like, I'm that's, gonna be right behind you. Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> I'm here on, on the, the other subway. Side of the street. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but whatever. Did so, you guys? So, oh, so go he ahead. got. So he got. He got his chemical engineering degree in America after learning English to study that shit. Then he got like a master's in business administration, did all that shit, rose to beast, uh, you, you know, rose to a nice position. But my mom became a teacher at a very elite private school in New York City. And so to send me there, they had to spend a shit ton of money that they didn't have. So my dad was in debt every year to send my sister and me to that school. Wow. And then senior year, uh, I dropped out of college. Wow, <laughs> and he because of entertainment? Uh, no, I because nah, he's a fucking. Cause I drunkenly severed my Achilles drunk. tendon the day before classes started, and, and I couldn't get to, I couldn't make it to class for the first couple of weeks, and so I was just behind. At Thanksgiving, I, I stayed home. Damn. And so, like, how and that's you, partying. That's how'd you sever party. your tendon? Uh, like a fake karate fight, and I fucking kicked through a like a, a glass, glass door. Oh uh, no, shit! And, yeah, severed. 44 that's stitches. a bad injury so then where, where does the the theater and like the the improv come together for you guys that's so that was our that was my junior his yeah. senior year my senior year uh jay chandra one of the other guys i know uh, jay he you know said, jay my, he said fucking uh he was in starship troopers yeah and I, <laughs> with the bugs he was in the <laughs> super he was in uh spaceship troopers but right. he uh yeah. he used to direct a lot of the schools yeah 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 right and goldberg's yeah yeah that, yeah. yeah yep and um uh, he uh, <clears throat> he kind of he had been in Chicago and he wanted to start a comedy group at, at college at Colgate and there was nothing like it there so he started a, he kind of gathered a bunch of people together and we did a, like an improv show sketch show and it was you know the five guys who were left were part of that original group so the five guys who were still Broken Lizard or whatever so mm -hmm. um, so we did shows at Colgate and um, and we kind of did comedy shows and uh, stand up shows and shit like that and, you know. And then, and then we moved to New York. How's Jay doing? Talk to Good. Him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he's doing well. We, is he directing? Uh, he's directing. He's doing, he's doing a bunch of stand-up now. He's, he's shooting, shooting a special. special next week. He did? Yeah. He's, he's going to shoot it in Chicago. No shit. Yeah. Wow. So he's been, he's been traveling Smart around doing a lot of stand-up. Funny guy. Yeah, he's good. He's good. But yeah, he's, he's directing a lot of TV. And, and, um, and then you know, we made another movie. We had a movie that came out in April called Quasi. It's on Hulu. Uh, and so we were doing that for a while. And... Um, but, you know, Adina Myers is in that movie. We still no, see him know, regularly. She directed it. Now, are you, uh, are you, are you doing any um, stand up? You guys are both doing stand up. We haven't done it in a while. I we, think since Tacoma started, we just haven't had time. Yeah, it's been five years because there's the there's the new movie, Quasi. Are we realizing it like uh, it's, it's great. Oh yeah, there it is. It's a medieval. See? It's about it's about the hunchback. Well, well, that looks like real costume hunchback. shit. What that cost you? Yeah. It was, uh, we did it on the cheap. We did it, uh, what would it cost us? I don't know. It was under 15 million That's bucks. It's a cool poster. Damn. And uh, we shot it up in um, Santa Clarita. And we built a French, a French medieval village up there. 
and we shot a, um, a hunchback. Uh, That's so great up there. Let me let me place the hunchback. Who directed it? I did. He did. Well oh, done, wow. Kev. And then, well, then in Tacoma, why Tacoma? Why Tacoma fire? Because that was house. the that was, we were trying to we look we 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 reverse engineered it. Super Troopers Two was coming out, and we were like, all right, we got to get on TV because we had, <laughs> I think we had done like fourteen. We'd sold like fourteen TV shows, and for Never one reason or another, there. they wouldn't make it. It would shoot a pilot, it wouldn't make it, or you know. And so we were like, people like us with our mustaches. What other jobs? We'll have mustaches. mustaches and we're like firefighters all right but so what's the hook and we're like well super troopers was highway patrolman on the most deserted stretch of highway in the country <laughs> what's the equivalent so of that for a firefighter we're like the rainiest city in the country <laughs> so just have funny. nothing to fucking do and so there and we were in tacoma at the time we were, we were, like, the, we're doing the tacoma comedy club great great great, great, club. It's a great, great club. club the great best club. Yeah. great place and we were we were we were there for the weekend and it was like you know overcast and whatever like That's, right here man what do the firefighters do here? It's raining all the fucking time. Right. You know? So, and so, we, we, so whatever. So then we did, we, they announced the show. We were doing shows in Seattle. And, uh, and uh, the manager of the club came back. And he's like, hey, there's a bunch of Tacoma firefighters here. Uh, they want to talk to you. And we're like, holy shit. And so we went out after the show and talked to them. And they were pissed. Because the word had got around in the You're press. That we were, you know, the, the, it was the rainiest city. And they're like, we just want you to know. We fight a lot of fires, you know, and like, you know, we were kind of scared or whatever. And like, they were kind of, you know, get mad at us. And then after the whole conversation, the guy like pulls out a business card and he goes, I also do technical consulting. For, uh, for, for, for. Oh, thanks, buddy. Then we became friends with those guys. Like we actually premiered Tacoma FD at a charity event. Oh, Tacoma that's cool. Firefighters. Awesome. Yeah. And that guy was there. Do you have a real loyal cult following? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's crazy because like. There's what, like three or four million firefighters in the con in the in in the country or whatever, and you know they all. All the firefighter shows on TV are those ones where it's like you know there's a lot of crying and it's you know uh, yeah, yeah. dramatic and soot and they just tough. yeah they want to see the show where they're fucking around in the station because that's, that's what they're doing that's what they do time. yeah the all guys. time yeah so Bring I think up ours Chicago was Chicago Fire I just want to like ours was one the first one that did you know some that did that and you know we. I have family that are firefighters, and my cousin is our technical consultant. He he hangs out on the set, and he gives us stories and makes sure we look right. And and you know, it, people say that it's very accurate to the firefighter That's world. Cool. Look, at all, look fun, at all the actors. Know? Look at all the actors. Yeah. <laughs> they don't like me. Everybody's just like just <laughs> they're so hot. They're, they're really good looking. There, oh, she's intense. Tomboys, but hot as shit. Oh, guys, <laughs> guys do a lot of wrist curls. Their forearms are no joke. Yeah, and then you got me. I've never done a pull-up, guys. <laughs> well, I'd rather have a fireman like you. Look at the way they're standing. Oh, yeah. don't fuck with those guys. Yeah, baby. Oil. Can we get more oil on his arm, please? Thanks See, those firefighters take themselves too seriously. Yeah, the black guy looks so do. uncomfortable. Well, that's... Yeah. And Scott? look at the loser fucking... In the jacket? Yeah, it's him. Look Lee's at the loser right. lady doctor in the back left there. Like, <laughs> <laughs> she looks like she wandered... <laughs> uh, she looks like she wandered on this set. But that's why we do those things as a joke. Like, we do shots like that as a joke. Now, you know? that's you so should have your shirts ridiculous. open all the time. Yeah. Chicago. And, uh, oh, yeah. Fire. Get the Tacoma FD season three poster uh, up there, please. Watch this. Look at this fucking shit right here. Season two. The season two? Oh, yeah. get season two. You season guys two. shoot it where? Woodland Hills. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Around here? No way. Yeah. Oh, damn. Right on uh, yeah. Ariel and Irwin. Oh, fuck. Yeah. yeah. We, we built this. Um, I'm always over there. There you go. Yeah, we, we found this like empty office complex. <laughs> yeah, that one. That we black built cool. the station yeah, inside of it. so dumb. Look at that fucking sweet <laughs> poster. <laughs> Even she has a mustache in the back. That's yeah. Yeah. really funny. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> That's really That's funny. That's to show you it's a comedy, because otherwise you would think we were just as fucking hot as yeah, the Chicago Yeah, look how tough we look. Yeah, like Chicago yeah. Fire Department. Yeah, yeah so you got to put her, a mustache on her. That's hilarious. Let's take a little break, B, because it's time for some nuts in your mouth, Daddy. It's time for less carbs. It's time for nuts that are 33% less, less in carbs. I'm talking about vegan, paleo, keto friendly. I'm talking about the best profile you can get. I'm talking about nuts. You're talking about these that are bad better. Boys. They're like avocados on steroids, bro. Dip macadamia, chocolate. Macadamia, macadamia nuts. Yeah, they've got. 
They've got rare omega-7 fatty acids that, that, can, that, has been led, that can support natural collagen production, glucose metabolism, so if you've got problems with you know, your, your blood sugar, and it reduces inflammation, and it's also been linked to longevity and fat loss, which is why world record epigenetic age reducer Brian Johnson includes macadamias in his daily diet. All okay? the smart kids are doing it, and macadamias used to be just for the rich, not anymore, because House of Macadamias is changing all this. They work with not over 90 farmers to bring you the cheapest macadamias possible. All right, and they have a range of products from hand sorted nuts with savory, all natural flavors, even dipped in sugar free chocolate. My mm. personal favorites creamy the nut butter flavor here, cold pressed extra virgin macadamia oil, which I use always when I cook my steaks. It's unbelievable. It's got a buttery flavor. Mm. It's got a high smoke point. All right. So my favorites, a little treat is the 45% macadamia snack bars. All right. No added sugar or artificial ingredients. Give them a discount. Dude, they have a variety of flavors like blueberry, coconut, white plain chocolate. Give them a free box. Regular chocolate. You know what I'm going to do? Give them a free box. If you want to try out that variety Take a box, free box of blueberry, macadamia coconut, snack bars. Blueberry, coconut, white chocolate, and plain chocolate. How about you get a free box of 45% macadamia snack bars, one of each flavor, then pick your favorite, then order the whole box of them when you visit houseofmacadamias.com slash T-F-A-K plus 20% off your entire order with the code T-F-A-K. Get you some macadamia nuts in your mouth. Houseofmacadamias.com slash T-F-A-K. Um, but I don't know. I mean, to go back to your thing, firefighters, they love it. They, they, you know, they reach out. They get, now they just give us their stories. You know what I mean? And we'll, you know. There's a, a each one of them's got like a hundred great stories, you know. Oh fuck! And you just you know. so that's how you write it. You just come up with like an idea and then yeah, just go. yeah, yeah. I was at a fiftieth birthday party for somebody, and uh, we were partying late night, and our friend was standing up drinking a beer, and he just fucking collapsed in this hotel room. And I was like, I got down there, I was like, I revived him. I did some of my firefighter training. I was like, hey, uh, what's your name? He said his name. I was like, do you know who I am? He said my name. I said, do you know what year it is? Do you know where you are? And he's like, yeah, yeah. I was like, I think he should stay down there. He's like, I'm fine. He, he stood up, was up for another minute, and then fucking oh, collapsed again. Damn. And this time, he almost hit his head like on an end table. <sighs> and I was like, to the other people in the room, I'm like, I'm calling the fire. I'm calling 911. And people were like, I don't think you should. You know, he's been doing coke. And, and I was like, well, <laughs> definitely call the fire. I'm like, I'm calling them. Like, he's fucking, he's, he's green, whatever color he was. So they came. They like revived him. They did the whole fucking shit, put him through tests and everything. And meanwhile, while that's going on, a female firefighter whispers in my ear. She's like, are you Eddie Panisi? <laughs> She's like, I am. I am. She's like, can I get a picture with you after this? I was like, you may. You may. You may. That's pretty awesome. Did you hear that the, the bunch of uh, cops it was at a convention and they, they had rented this suite, this hotel room suite, and there's like literally 30 or 40 of them and they're all in this, they're all kind of sitting around I think they were waiting to watch a game or something. They're all sitting around, some on the bed, some on the chairs, they're drinking, they're talking. It's just like a great kind of love fest. A dude comes in with a gun and tries to rob them. What? He just didn't know. He just didn't know their cops. He goes, regular. put all your watches. And all the cops are like, <laughs> <laughs> and they just jump on him at the same time. They basically all jumped on him, wrestled the gun from him and stuff like that. And then when they, they kind of got the gun mm -hmm. away from him, he was dead. <laughs> Holy shit. He had a heart attack. Holy shit. Are yeah. they suing the cops now? He, what's that? No, he just died trying to rob them. And they got the gun away and he just ended up dying. In a hotel wild. somewhere. Get out of my pull out of the fire. <laughs> yeah, that, uh, I mean, we, that happens, that kind of shit. With, we have a lot of cop stories. We, we, just because oh, of Super fuck. Troopers. We were doing Not Starship Troopers. You must get some crazy <laughs> stories. We were doing a show in Missouri, a weekend in Missouri. And on Thursday night after that show, we were like, Thursday's when we typically don't party at all because you got to wake up for some you do that Friday, Friday morning Friday. radio and all yeah. that shit and, you know. but we pulled into the hotel on Thursday anyway to check in and there were probably like 50 Missouri State uh, cop cars in the parking lot and they were having their convention there oh yeah and so you know whatever we did our show we got back on Thursday night I was in his hotel room we were going over the game plan for the morning stone cold sober I go and I get in the elevator we say good night we say good night I get in the good elevator night. with all, the, all these fucking cops, and then one of them goes, you boys like Mexico? Which is one of my lines from Super Troopers. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like... Oh, the one with bugs. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, yeah, yeah, you got me. And they're like, you're fucking coming partying with us. And it was that. It was them in a hotel room just sitting around passing bottles of whiskey. It's great. Good time. It's great. You know, 
30 minutes later, we're driving a 7-Eleven in a squad car to get cigarettes. You know, the whole fucking thing. And these guys fucked me up. But so they, they all use the the key uh, phrases you, you use in Super Troopers. Oh, My yeah. father-in-law is a highway patrol officer. Yeah, yeah. They all use the, the yeah, things yeah. you get fucking with each other. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like all of them follow it. I'm sure Huge when you get pulled fall. over speeding, but you guys probably drive the speed limit. But if you if you no, put, we don't. Yes, if you we take do. the road the way I do, if you take it, <laughs> yeah. you know what I'm saying? Guys? I know exactly. Yeah. You know what yeah. the fuck I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're you're fucking, road. yeah. yeah. And when I take the road, sometimes I get pulled over and they go, mm-hmm. have a good day. Yeah. <laughs> they go, thanks, Nago. Loved you in Super Troopers. Go, Wasn't me. And they go, I know. You're way more athletic than those guys. Yeah. Yeah. You can do pull ups. What do you said, do for well, your why back? Why not? And I go, I couldn't fit my back in their uniforms. Uniforms. Yeah. Yeah. So or my cock. Or my cock. <laughs> I did get pulled over doing 120. And the guy leaned in and he's like, Mr. Do you have any idea how fast? Super Troopers? <laughs> like, you have me in Vegas. Me. It's the I best. I was doing 110 miles an hour and the. Uh, it's probably a lie, right? I wasn't doing 110. You're probably going 88. Yeah. I was I was going very fast though, and it was uh, I get pulled over in a speed trap, and the guy from from World's Dumbest, you know, they all watch that too. Mm-hmm. He just looks in and he goes like that. He goes, he goes, what's going to happen next season? And I go, I'm not telling you <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that was it. The last time I got pulled over was right here, because you know there's a sheriff's uh, you yeah, know right sheriff's here. station right yeah. here. I got pulled over uh, driving to. Uh, there was, oh, there, was that, there was a construction thing, so I was driving to the Tacoma set. I had a firefighter coat on. Yeah. And the guy pulled me over, and it was like 6 o'clock in the morning because I rolled through the stop sign. And, uh, and there he was, and he was like, you know, are you a firefighter? And I was like, no, nah, I, I, that's when you sound like, you know, a pussy. And I'm like, no, nah, I, I shoot a firefighter show. Uh, so I was like, oh, oh, you're an actor. I was like, yeah, because I recognize you. Have you been anything I know? And I was like, I was in a movie called Super Troopers. And he goes, oh. And then he let me, he just let me go. He said, you have a good time, you know. Damn and, right. uh, but it was right, this is the last time, right, right here. here, right on. Uh, if right you're an right actor, here. you're going to get fucked. If you're a comic, if you're, if you, if you make people laugh a lot of times, you yeah. get, you know, it's like, you get off. But if I you make a, a movie about cops, shows. then oh, you're yeah. set. We've been, let, uh, you know, so many times we've been let out of tickets, you know. So. Oh, yeah. You got a, you got pulled over for speeding. To go throw out a pitch at the... Uh, yeah, we were throwing out first pitch at the Padres game. I'd be nervous about that. How'd you do? Um, that time... I Actually, I saw the picture of it recently. I did pretty well. But I, I have bounced it a couple of times. Yeah. I have bounced it. Like, I, I went... When I was at Kevin Bay's gym, I was practicing throwing. It's actually a lot farther than I It's a lot farther. And also, like, the, you know, it's like a weird... Like, you, you get that one Mound. moment, the adrenaline, and you kind of yeah, fuck it up. On there. Have you ever done yeah. it? I haven't. I'd love to, though. Yeah. Love to. What? Theo did it with the Arizona Diamondbacks, and people forget how athletic Theo is. Pretty I mean, athletic, he zinged right? it in. He did? Yeah. I told him if you want to go viral, like, he should have done, like, the 50 Cent. Like, I, I, I think 50 Cent did that on purpose. You do? Yeah. No. There's no way. No do. way. How do you not throw a ball? Well, what about, his, well uh, his throwing motion was it's, all fucked it's up. Also, everything was a night. Like, Chandler Sagar just did it at the Cubs this last a couple months ago. Oh, fucking great. And he practiced, because he's a huge Cubs fan, and he can finally get the chance. It was for uh, Quasi, the movie Quasi. Practice, 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 and then just embarrassed himself. Hey, <laughs> like it didn't even get halfway to the mo- to the let me see to the catcher. Let me see like, Fifty Cent because that was so crazy. You know, you know Jeff Die. He he. His goal. I think it's the only reason he does stand up. His goal is to pitch at every major league stadium. I think he's done okay. thirty of them. Wow. And he, he's throwing it in there, man. Well, you nah, know, look at his hand. Like, way, look before, at the hand. Look at that hand. By the way, right though, there. just so you know. There's a chance he never threw. No way. That's that's. There's a chance he. You never, don't grow up in New York. That's and not embarrassing. Throw a ball. No, it is though. It's he probably never threw a ball, dude. I don't know. That, that's very possible. Like, do you see Connor threw it through the ball well, but then when he threw for the for the Dallas Cowboys the football, you're like, oh, you're so. Oh, high. dude. Now is now oh. Ireland came out. Like, yeah. So it was like a. What about your basketball? <laughs> like, oh no. What about your boy the basketball? But that's what that was. 50 cents. That was right. bad. Yeah, That's but like, you, you know. grow up in the New York. Or the, Bring up the basketball player. I mean, the, which one? Yeah, no. Throw a fucking ball, dude. Yeah, tall, you're from the fucking Bronx. Tall. You live next to the Yankees. Uh, yeah, dude. You player. never throw a ball? <laughs> but what about, who's that basketball player who threw the ball terribly? The, t- the best, the number one draft pick in the NBA right now. Oh, Victor super Wim, tall and skinny. Wim, oh, w- Wim, the one who, Wimby? Wimby. 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 The one who beat up uh, Britney Spears. There was a pitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, his, his security guard slapped Britney Spears. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Have you seen that? Yeah. That's, him, she, that's him. That's him. The watch top one? Yeah, yeah the top him. one's him. Watch this. Did All you right. see this? Well, now, real quick, he's 7'4. Yeah. He looks and so tall. And I think he's 7'5. What country is he from, though? Is France. He, he's from okay, France. So it's like not like he grew up playing baseball. No. It's not a throw. This is the first time he's seen a ball. 
Oh, yeah, that's terrible. That wasn't bad. That wasn't terrible for us. <laughs> no, no, that's terrible. He's, that's bad. It might be good for you, Callum, <laughs> yeah. but that's terrible. Kind of let it roll off your finger, too. I know. Your back prevents he's, you from really he's throwing. He's got no well, back muscles. That. That's yeah. the problem. That's too, bad. too many you back muscles. Take my back Did you ever see Bush when he was president? W. Bush throw the ball? After you're like, oh, shit. After 9-11. Not like, too bad, though, right? Oh, no. He threw some heat, too. Yeah. He threw some well, he played He played college baseball. He did. He has dad paper. I don't think he did. I think he cheerleaded in He played for Yale. This was the first game after 9-11. Now remember, his family owns the Texas Rangers. Yeah. So it's true. There you go. That's not bad. That's a, that's right a, right down. Down. from the mound the too. Middle. That's from pretty good. Well, have Biden throw that. Let me know how it goes for you. Exactly. That's a good throw right there. Not a bad throw. I wonder I if there's know. any of uh, our pitches anywhere. Uh, Shander Sekar's uh, the one that he threw in the dirt is up there. The Cubs. Uh, Shander Sekar. You guys bat rolled it in. That's Chandler. that makes me sad. Did he go up and then roll? Yeah. I, I think he just. The last one I did was uh, at the Charlotte. Nights. Yeah, and, and you I were talking. He was it. talking C-H-A- a, a big game about that. He, he was like, yeah, minor league C-H-A- baseball. He was like, you're gonna fucking bounce this. You're putting this in the drum. C H A N D R A. Yep. No, D R A O C K. R A. S E K. S E K. H A R. H A R. Took me a long time to figure out. They don't even have it in there. Yeah, it's his name is so fucked up. It's not even worth it. That's how bad it was. His middle name is Jumberlingham, which means big cock. Jesus. That's Jumbling. your middle name, right? Is that That's your middle name? name. Jumb- on the street. Brian Jumbling in, in, in the sack circles. In, in the, uh, All right, can you give some current bars. events? Sure. <clears throat> I don't think you're going to find that one. You won't find that one. You might find it. Oh, oh there, there it is. There, there, there it is. On TikTok. Wrigley Field, though. That's a big deal. His, it, his jersey yeah. is a nightmare. Wrigley? Back with his last that's, his, uh, that's his name from Starship Troopers. That was his name in the movie from Starship Troopers. He was one of the bugs. From Starship, I remember <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's in the stands. Nobody's, so look at that. Nobody's there. Oh, 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 bounce it! Oh, and it's off to the side. And the crowd's not feeling it. There's just remember he like he had one of our buddies bring a, a a baseball mitt and a baseball to the the night before we did a screening, so he could throw uh, at the yeah you got to the practice, screening man. so you practice yeah, yeah you got to practice and he did a little bit and it just didn't help out. the mounds up too. Yeah. Because like the Dodgers, you can elect to go from the mound or closer. Yeah. You see the Kardashians, Kevin Hart, they, they all do it closer. You got to get on the mound. We did. I'm getting on the fucking we mound. We did the Dodgers. The we mound. did the mound. You did the mound. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. yeah. But people don't realize the mound, it's higher. So you're, it's kind of you're throwing down. When, yeah. when I was doing school, I was working with a lot of kid actors. I, I cannot, I was playing a coach, right? So I, I cannot tell you how many kids couldn't throw a ball, 14 year olds, sure. Hollywood actors. When I'm telling, I'm telling thing, you, they grew up acting, not playing with. They friends couldn't throw and shit. A, a baseball or a football. It was just un- unimaginable. It's not what they do, <laughs> though. Never done it. They're busy. You're supposed acting. to teach them. You're a coach. Yeah. And these kids are supposed to. Be, yeah, where are you, you know, coach? It reflects teach on you. The mom, the mom, the dad wasn't teach around. Them. The mom was like, "Thank you." And I was like, <laughs> "Oh, kid actors are a nightmare, dude." I remember there's a famous actress, and her she son didn't have a father. And I uh, spent some time with him. And it was so apparent to me, this young boy who was probably 11, um, I don't know, had never just been around a guy. Never been a fucking around a guy who could teach him how to do shit. I was teaching him how to like do like, guy stuff. We were fucking around with a ball football. Sure. Fix his balls, that kind yeah. of thing. Fix your balls, yeah. throw a punch, yeah. throw a spiral. Yeah. Fuck a me. teacher. Eat a slice of pizza. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. In the, the butt. Yeah. In the, the butt. Moon. Yeah. You know, so do, do it in the butt. <laughs> yeah, but don't look around that yeah. way. <laughs> Well, you need you need, you need a father figure to teach you, like you know, just make sure. Look around. That's true. You know what you need a father figure for? What Butt I play, dude. Is that my my uh, nephew, my two nephews torture my younger nephew. They're young, the younger brother. But you need brothers or men around to fuck with you a little bit. Yeah. Tease you. Yeah. To so get you're not you, so sensitive. Yeah. yeah teach you about the house of pain. Yeah. yeah. There's a house yeah. of pain in this world. But that's also how guys test yeah. each other. They fuck with each other. It's like, come on, man. This is, we're just bonding here. We're yeah. just fucking around. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not serious. Instead of taking right. it. All right. What do you got, Chin? All right. Uh, first one is from this Northwestern coach. So This is nuts. Okay. So but, uh, let me acts? be honest here. So this coach. In the it's, it's hazing. So with, Pat, Patrick Fitzgerald, he was an All-American linebacker at Northwestern University. He when I that I was telling you when I went to the University of Colorado football camp. Yeah, he was my coach and he was awful. Oh no shit! He was awful okay. to me. He made he was he's like oh you never make it your feet are too big. You know obviously I made it so suck on that. Yeah. So that's what <laughs> I've, I've, I've I've never liked the guy. I've yeah, never yeah. liked the guy. But yeah, yeah. he is a good coach. So this article comes out. You knew him, Bob? Is that yes. What oh, and okay. he's very mean to me as a kid. Oh, really? Yeah, super mean. Said my feet were too big. I'll never make it. So that's cool. When you <laughs> so you loved seeing this story. 
I don't with this, but what I what I think's going on says Northwestern players allege hazing includes barbaric coarse sexual acts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you go down when you read about it, mm -hmm. I grew up in locker rooms. Yeah, hey, sure. Man, sure. When you read this, you're like, oh, it's just a bunch of gay dudes on Northwestern. <laughs> That's all this is. Like okay. some of the, some of the hazing. So said the current player claimed uh, coach Pat Fitzgerald, who was spent without pay for two weeks. It's gonna be way longer than that after this. Oh, uh, might have been aware. He was not hazing. No, no, no. But he, he wasn't one of the guys. But, that but if a freshman ah, messed okay. up, they okay. have a sign where they they like circle around their head. He would throw that sign when the kid messed up. Yeah. Letting the older players know, like, go for him. That's yeah. a, a post, supposedly with these kids. Oh, I see, I see. So they call it running. So in, in, involved being restrained by a group of eight to ten upperclassmen dressed in masks who would then dry hump the victim in a dark locker room. Yay. Okay. That's in shocking experience as fresh to see your fellow freshman teammates get ran. Keep going. Mm -hmm. But then it gets really homophobic. Keep going down. Uh, everyone would just look at each other and be like, bro, Fitz knows about this. Everyone joins him because he's the coach. There's a, there's a part there. Keep going. And is it is it a fact that the coach knew that this stuff was going naked and perform okay. and bear crawl? Bear crawling, so they'd run around. Uh, play, they call it the car wash, in which some players would stand naked at the entrance of the showers and spin around, forcing anyone to enter to rub up against them. <laughs> it's like, I grew up in locker rooms, man. That stuff, I've been yeah. in a million locker rooms. Nobody ever was naked in the shower rubbing up against them. Yeah, no, no, no. It just, I think just some of the Northwestern players were scared to come out of the closet. Yeah, it's really weird. Isn't that weird? I'm going to put my dick all over you, dude. You better take this it. This is yeah. hazing. I, I've heard look, plenty of those stories, though. Hold your arms above your head and start clapping because I'm going to fucking dick mash you. I've heard of those stories, though. Yeah. The, like that, that, that. Yeah, like that kind of shit going on. Yeah, me too. They're called when guys like each other. I mean, <laughs> fuck. Yeah. <laughs> In the it, 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 uh, yeah, it straddles the line a little bit, but yeah. I mean, I've heard that. There's a know. fine line. There is. I don't but, mind. But, but it was never a routine thing where like it's it's Friday shower day like we're all gonna put no our but like in your I, butt. you know like Correct. circle jerks and shit like that you I know never did I've, that. No. I've never done it either I mean I never, I'm just saying, saying I hear all jerk stories all and, I mean like yeah I heard I, th I heard this that I thought was was a good mind fuck these Navy SEALs were freezing on this rock and the waves were crashing over them and the instructor guy goes first guy who gets a hard on. If you get if one of you guys can get a heart on in this freezing cold, you can fucking get out of here. Yeah, mission okay. impossible. Now that that now I'm 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 doing sure. what I can if I'm sure to get a heart on. Right. That's where you use your mind. But that's not hazing. No, that's no. more like a mind. See, I I would I would be fine because I'm always hard. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> oh no, we look down just the head of his dick. Just, yeah. oh. possibly it's a Latin thing, right here. Just a Latino root. Thing. Yeah, heavy. Most it's a Latino Latin. thing. All right, so that guy get fired. He suspended he had, he had two weeks suspension Can for investigation. But then more kids came out. But then I heard today on the news that the kid that like started all this wanted to get him fired. So they don't know how real it is. Can you know I get, okay. Like the kid had like a vendetta. Sure, sure, him, sure, so sure. Uh, cool. That happens Co a lot too now. Yeah, that happens a Especially lot. Especially with now. cancel cultures, like get them. Like if you if you don't get your playing time, whatever it is, you're gonna yeah. go. Yeah, you know. that's so fucked up. They yeah. they, they said a former player and a current player. So whatever that is. But if that guy was beloved, it wouldn't stick. <laughs> I, you know I, what I mean? think they won one game last I think, season. I think it may be, you know, it might be because from your story games. that the guy is not that great of a guy, you know, maybe that's part not of it to too. me. Okay. Now, maybe he was having a rough How day or a rough week. Your feet were I was like 11. Do you, what? <laughs> is that like the one, like, like, let's say you're in a bar. Like, obviously, you're a professional fighter. You're trained to not get pissed off at people. Mm. Like, because I'm sure guys come up to you and want to fight you. Never. Never? Never. <laughs> Steve That's said guys are always trying to fucking... It's probably because he's hanging out bars. <laughs> right. Okay. But like, would the feet, if somebody was like, yeah, what's up, Bigfoot? Would that fucking trigger you? No, not at all. It would take... They'd have to hit my kid or wife or something. Okay. It would take a lot. Okay. A ton. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Are you, you're, you're not mad at me right now for saying No, that? not at all. Big feet are cool, you man. You want to kind of poke the You know what they say about big yeah. feet, right? Yeah, don't. You know, you got a good size foot on your Thanks, brother. So do you, man. Thanks, man. Small you want, foot over here, man. No, no, no. Tiny feet. Little foot. Big back. Uh, big back, small <laughs> feet. Dick. Big back. <laughs> All right, let's just see who can get a hard on first, guys. Right. Come on, here we go. Hey, let's go. Hey, here we go, hey, guys. Hey, I'm already hard. Um, All right, what do you here we go. Uh, so this one real quick. So apparently people noticed after the whole, you know, <laughs> Kid Rock protesting against Bud Light. Apparently some fans noticed that Kid Rock's bars were still bar. selling. Yeah, we're yeah, still selling like, Bud Light. We drove Instagram. by the bar in Nashville, yeah. So were they still selling Bud Light that you saw? I don't know, probably. Yeah, but people were taking pictures of themselves in his bar. Yeah, so like, here's one picture here. You I think the whole thing's Bud ridiculous. There. It is silly, but yeah, I drink Bud Light and I'll drink Budweiser. I don't care what you guys fucking say. 
Exactly. If you I don't like care it, what you, you guys like say. No, I don't care. I mean, I'd assume you'd suck me off, but sure. I, yeah, I will too. Fine. Well, I was at the Padres game. I was with my brother and uh, my opener, Brett Forte, and I don't really drink beer. It's a, I, don't, I, don't, I don't drink it, but they want beer, so I'm like, hey, you got some beer, so you're on the app. And I see it's like Modella, Coors, it's like 16 16 but like $7. It's like the price is Oh, they're $7. dropping it, huh? So I ordered the beer, the not Bud Light, right? We don't well, you know. did because it was cheaper. No, I didn't. I didn't. Okay. I didn't want that heat. Okay. So when the guy came, <laughs> when the guy came over, I go, "Hey man, real quick, how, how long you been doing this?" He's like, "Oh man, thirty years." I go, "Cool." I said, "Has anybody ordered Bud Light today?" He goes, "Not one, not a single." But I go, "That's so but dumb." It's half the price. He goes, "It doesn't care." Like they're worried about what people are going to say or the way they're going to look. Mm -hmm. I'm like that's oh, insane. That's yeah. I'll just buy the Bud Light, and put it in a clear cup, and save money. Sure, man. There are save some places. Them. There are some places like in the U.S., like South Carolina, where I was just at Greenville, great town. Have you done Greenville? No, great town. But it's the Bible Belt. Yeah, and uh, there are some things that it's a. It's still a. It's still to a degree like if you just go outside that town, it's a segregated part of the world. Yeah, yeah, and. There are certain things that are like you don't make fun of certain things, you know. It's a really weird thing because it's kind of like there's an LGBT community there, and that's kind of yeah. Yes. But overall, like if you start making fun of white people, which sometimes I do in my act now, <laughs> be careful <laughs> because you got to make sure it's couched with other shit because they clam up. They're just like yeah. black MC was like. Do you see how tight they got when you started making fun of black, white people? And I was like, <laughs> I know. I was just. But with also Bud Light, it's just a miscalculation. Like, no, you're demo, dude. It's like me making fun of dudes. No, you're time. demo. Like, no, you're demo, dude. No, you're demo. I guess so. Like, who gives a fuck? I mean, really, it's just fucking beer, right? And these people are so, like, this fucking asshole's like shooting the beer with a machine gun. <laughs> It's the dumbest fucking thing I've ever he's seen. Got AK, he's all, <laughs> it's a fucking beer. Who gives a shit? Well, I think people got, are so tired of the gender ideology. Not because... I guess so, but people are mad at the cancel culture, and that's cancel culture. Yeah, Isn't but, that well, cancel yeah, culture? That's, that's, that's economic boycott. That might be a little it's bit Same thing. It's the know? same thing. Yeah. It's still canceled. Under a different name. Like if you, you can't be... Yeah. You know, I'm, I, I get his point, yeah. but I, I, I well, think I the think reason why people are, are triggered because it's when it's forced. It's like, dude, don't pick a side. Just make beer. I guess. Well, just I make would, cold beer. I would say that. I think they're triggered because there's something inside of them. I no, no, maybe, no, I don't I think, think so. They might I be think, gay. I think in this case, the gender thing, I think it's very surprising to people that, they, that for, for most Americans, the line that you draw is when you start trying to indoctrinate children into your what's called ideology slash Yeah, that's religion. dumb. That's, that's a, that's a dog whistle. That's a, that's a dog whistle. Thing that's that's going a dog on, whistle. But it is going on. You know, it is not going on. No, it is not going on. I'm with him on this. Like most like transgender and stuff like that, they don't. They don't subscribe to that. Agreed. Like th that. Agreed. That's a. That's a small minority. 100%. That's like saying all people are Italian are in the mafia. No, your algorithm is lying to you. You're yeah. right. Yeah. Like most trans people, are like what? We don't want to dance in front of kids. Right. But they push and that. that like and that's stuff. It's also silly. But it's also what small. I, it's just dragged out there I, to make what people I, angry. Correct. People don't Correct. like. Right what's very interesting about America? Heavy on the drag, right? Is that, yeah. yes. yes. But what's funny about America and all this is like pride used to be a thing where you were gay, you were on the outside looking in. And it was like, you know, it was very hard to be gay. We're going to have a parade and, and just celebrate survival, you know. Pride has now been co-opted by every corporation. So you're mainstream and it's all, you've just been enveloped into the capitalist market structure. It's all good. And I think people see um, a lot of these corporations using trans, using this stuff as just a way to sell more product. Correct. They don't like being, they don't like being shill, shill to. And I do think that this gender, this idea that, for example, biological men in women's sports, biological men being able to say, I'm a, I'm a woman and I'm going to a female prison and getting two inmates pregnant like they did in California. Oh, come on. That doesn't also, happen. That did happen. That did not happen. That happened here in California. No way. Look it up. Okay. Not only that. <laughs> okay. Not only that. <laughs> and then saying, well, I, I can be in a, in a women's locker room as a fully intact male. And my daughter's changing in that. Now, I, that may yeah, be rare, but, but that is what, what happens with people is they go, it may be that those are stories that are sensationalist, which I agree. They are. It's, but, it's, it's definitely the outlier. It does. Like, they're the definitely majority. the outlier. But yeah. if that becomes, see? <clears throat> oh, the New York Post. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. But, 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 it, is, but it, it, did, it did happen. Okay. And in Scotland now, you have people with the new law where you can, you can say, I'm a woman. After three months, you don't have to have anything. You can just have a beard, whatever. If you are a woman, you are put in a, a Scottish prison. Now, there's now a referendum to say, hold on. 
if you're a sexual assault, you know, if you've committed a sexual assault, you can't do that. What I'm saying is that there is no what doubt that saying? the gender ideology has has become a, a, an issue people have to deal with, and parents go, wait, wait. Well, it's become people because some people are amplifying it more than it really exists. I agree. I agree That's 100%. Issue. I think it's very rare. I don't know anybody who's dealing yeah. with it. Do you? Like, I don't know. I don't know anybody who's like anti-gay or anti -trans. Well, I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this one story. Yeah, I want to know what you think. I'll tell you this one story. Yeah. Is that uh, my kids play sports. My daughter plays, my daughters play lacrosse. And I remember the first game I went to, and there was a kid out there, a trans kid, who's biologically a boy, playing in the girls' league. And I was like, what the fuck? Scored 60 goals. Yeah, no, didn't score 60 goals, because they're, you know, yeah. didn't. And so I was like, what the fuck? And I was furious, and I was furious, and I, and I went to my daughters, and I was like, doesn't that piss you off? And I'm like, what? And I was like, that thing. And their, their position is totally different. They, we look at it as a fairness thing. They don't look at it that way, right? They said to me, Dad, everyone feels like they, everyone should have the chance to belong to something. Everyone should have the chance to belong. And that kid playing about, lacrosse should belong. How do you feel about Leah Thomas? Leah Thomas is such an outlier. But it but you exists. Know and it's, it it's exists, not, but who gives a shit? It's not that big an outlier. It, 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 who gives a no, shit? It, it, it is an outlier. It, it, it's the exception. For That's sure. the one everyone it's quotes. It's not like every pool you go to, there's a transgender There are thousands it's, of kids but, playing but lacrosse and soccer and whatever. The NCAA picked it up as as a an acceptable law that's where it gets law. Dicey. so so hold on so let me just keep going yeah so you have your daughter who is a biological female yeah she has worked very hard for her all-american status this is where we're into this fairness thing go ahead okay. yes yeah yeah and by the way there are scholarships involved in everything else and a kid in high school who's a biological male the first three yeah. biological males come along and take that all-american status and that doesn't happen, but okay. But it that does, does not happen, happen, but okay. It happened it it for his example. It happened that one time. But my, my thing with the but, lacrosse, but, but, I'm, not, it, it, these are things that, that you trump up. But that doesn't to, bother you. To fight you don't. But it that, doesn't bother me because you know why? As a society, we should have a world where people are comfortable being who they are. Yes. And who gives a fuck about uh, about who wins the fourteen year old girls lacrosse team? The girls do. And who fuck the girls? No, they don't. Do. They don't. Because I've talked to him about it. But, 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 but talk, let me ask you. Care. I've talked to my daughter. I can tell you. Would, you. would you care if that transgender player that went from male to female, let's say she, he, or whatever he goes by pronouns, let's say he scored 60 goals and gave your daughter a concussion because he's biologically a male. Then would you be like, hold on here. Now, just because that person was bad at lacrosse. So you think but, biological but that doesn't males. Happen. Wait, wait. But 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 Kevin, but, it's gonna, it but the does. problem is it, it could open so the door. So you're where saying that does you're happen, saying biological right? males, if they identify as females, should yeah. be allowed to be in any female sport. Uh, this is the this is the problem is that you you guys think that there are people out there who are trying to get ahead and playing in these other sports, but they just want to be a part of a team like okay. anybody but else. Can they? Be, I think the majority and do. they should be. Can I think they be the majority a part of a cares? transgender team. No, because then it's separate but equal, right? Isn't that the same exact thing? So, so then you think that being so this is very important, though. Yeah. So you're saying like then you're saying it's then very that a female or a argue. male is a feeling. Oh, he's great. Yeah. Say that again. You're saying that a male or a man or a woman is a feeling. It's just a feeling, right? Well, I, I mean, I don't know. I don't experience but you that have situation. To make, but we but we have to have a standard. Because if we're going to move forward with policy at the level of detail, sure, okay, you have to be able to define these things. So if you are going to say that it's a man, uh, I, I'm a man, yeah, you know, I'm a I'm a 20 year old man, I'm six four, whatever I am, and I'm going to now get into women's swimming and be the greatest female swimmer and be recognized right. for it, which is what happened with Leah Thomas, who, by the way, is a fully intact male, mm -hmm. and was in the locker room with those women, okay, okay, fully intact. They did okay. not feel comfortable. I don't know that's it. the case, but okay. That is the case. I don't know that that's the case. But it is because I followed it. You were it in the locker the room with them? No, I've listened to Rowdy Gaines and the other people talk about it. Okay. The other women were... were, were said, is Rowdy Gaines the woman who... Yes. Okay. And she, she was the best swimmer in the country. I guess. And I, she, mean, not, I guess, Kev. You're saying I guess. No, no. I'm, I'm, saying, I'm saying I don't really hold much stock in what she says. Why? She, she was the best swimmer in the country. Well, because she worked really hard to be that. So you're saying that... And by the way, she tied and they gave Leah Thomas the... Award, you know why? Because she's a she's a well, trans but be, woman. But, but re, be real quick. Leah Thomas was ranked what when she was a male? Four hundred and thirty-five. Was she ranked now as a female? Number one. That's not fair. That's a problem. But see, that's my point. Is you're worried about fairness 
But that's sports, to, right? No, included. I'm worried about. No, 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 no. But then no, you no. should play sports, so, right? So, well, I don't inclusion, think that's true. I mean, but why should a kid not should, plan a team and have a. I mean, that's the. But what we say. Because, Kev, if your inclusion is back to baseball today, right? Your yeah. kid wouldn't do baseball. Yeah. What's the coach the first thing they say? It doesn't matter if we win or lose. Let's just have a good time. Oh, Let's well, just have some fun. Not right? And now you say that's bullshit, but it that's what they bullshit. say every day, every day for those kids. And those kids should have that experience too. They should have that experience. Yes, but we should also have something called fairness. Men, can I give you I know, a, but another, that's let me my give point. You a great stat. You're looking at it from this perspective of fairness, and the, and these people don't look at it that yes, way. Yes, they do. Women no, are they don't. women for the the vast majority of females, athletes and mothers in this country, vast majority, well over 75%. That's a, this is the stat. Let me just give you some fat okay. stats. Well over 75%, but it might be 85% disagree with you how do you where do you get your stats outrage. from how do you know that they take these Who polls that poll? kevin and where they, they take, take these it polls all the time bring it up from Jim. different <laughs> multiple sources buddy i'm telling you i the, uh, all no the women i feel i meet are like shocked that that men are all of a sudden trying to protect the women's sports there are tons of problems with women's sports tons of them and the first one and the for top 10 of them are have nothing to do with transgender okay, so let's go back to this right. so again you think that a man or a woman is a feeling so it's just a declaration and if it is a declaration i didn't say that okay but i didn't yeah, say that then what are you saying because we have to come to a see i'm saying that i have nothing against trans people i'm saying what i'm I saying don't even that, know what it means to be trans person i couldn't even experience it and neither can you you don't know what it most means most americans to not be comfortable oppose, in your own skin. including you trans no athletes in sports look you don't know i'm look uncomfortable at this. Right Bob, look at this look at this <laughs> we've had most this, we've had this conversation this is this so is many every times. poll, <laughs> Kevin. Every poll, but it doesn't matter. Forget Absolutely. that poll. Forget that poll. What I'm trying to say is, so I that's think that's that 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 not relevant. What I object, Why is that relevant? What I object to is this: we have to at least come to a conclusion. Yeah. At the level of detail to run policy. That's fine. And it does matter. Fairness does matter. So really, and that quickly. conclusion should come to the point where we don't shit on people for who they are. No, but he's saying. But what about yes, they are. They're vilified. These people are being vilified. There's well, no I, question I, about I it. I think I think Leah Thomas is. A grifter. I really you do. You think that she did it to be number one? Yes, I do. See, that's the difference. Yes, that's I, right. do. I don't believe that. And you think she did just to I feel I think she did it because she... So she, she should be the best... She is and so when they say who's the best big. female swimmer in the world, a women swimmer, you, you say Leah Thomas. Well, talks. I don't know. That's semantics. It's not right? semantics when... It is. When the NCAA who, I, titles I on the line. I not name female swimmer. I know. I don't even... Who can't... Like, no, but they Here's the point. I know, but you're going to create rules... Yes, that I am. vilify people. We have rules because you want to figure out what's fair to you, right? No, no, no. But they don't we look at it that we way. We have rules, my friend, yeah. and the rules are that we have women's and men's sports for a very specific reason. And what that specific reason, reason is, is that? I'll give it to you. Okay. The best fifteen-year-old and under soccer players in the country yeah. beat the U.S. national women's team five to nothing. 15 and under boys. Do you know that story? I don't. Okay. But <laughs> that is the that is the that is the discrepancy physically between men and women. And that's just a fact. Oh, I see so, what you're saying. Yes, yeah. that's fine. So that's when fine. you when you come in there and take a woman's Olympic silver medal, gold medal, bronze medal away, because you are and who seven did that? inches taller. Who did that? When you are who that did much that? stronger. Well, Leah Thompson. What Thomas medal's been taken away? Example, who did it? You know? Mia Thompson taken an Olympic medal for anybody. No, she took an NCAA championship. And second place, and she changed the whole race because right. she decided all of a sudden that she was a woman. But if and that me, Riley Gaines, what's her name, Rowdy Gaines, Riley Gaines? Yeah, Riley. Riley if Gaines. she came up to that podium and she said, "You know what? I get it. I get it. You guys are upset, and I'm upset too. But the reality is, I'm confident in my abilities, and the skills, and what I've done in my life, and I'm to proud to live in sport? a country. I'm proud to live in a country and be part of an organization that is inclusive." And that helps people feel like they belong to something that we're they're comfortable inclusive. with who they but are. We're very inclusive. No, we're not. We'd be comfortable who we are. If she said that, I'd wear a fucking t-shirt. But she didn't. She but, but went what? around the country, like well, you know, sponsored by Turning Point or all these fucking places. No, she are. Didn't. Yeah, she no, did. She didn't. Yes, she she's absolutely speaking up did. Her common sense and fairness. No, you know what she and sounds. She's right. She sounds petty. She, she sounds sound petty. petty. Kevin, she's she sacrificed her whole life to be the but, best. But Kevin, let me ask yeah. you this: Would yeah. you have a problem? Petty. Like, I know you, it's all like, did you have fun though, right? Yeah. But it's also, what if more transgenders start going into female sports, and then now it's not just Leah Thompson. Now one through five are placing that were formerly men, now they're female, right? Identify as female. You got to do something. And then about women that, cannot you? compete. Sure, but that's I, what's going to happen. They're not going to be able to compete. Do you, I don't do think that's going to happen. I don't know what's going to But that's the slippery slope of argument, right? That's a slippery well, but slope. That's, like, the, you open that door. But, but if you open that door 
And then men are like, hold up. No, the men, maybe, we, maybe we figure out what the situation is then, but well, I don't know that's going to happen. Do you, that think, do you think, though, that there is, th that we should have a conversation around the definitions of a man and a woman? And should those include biology or should they just include the idea that I say this so I should be included? Because if you're no, they saying, sure, sure they should include biology. Okay, but sure. we, th that's what I'm saying is that we yeah. have to figure, that's what I object to. Yeah. When, when a new gender ideology comes along and says by the way i'm a woman i've decided and you have to acknowledge that mm -hmm. that is a religious point of view right so the idea is don't dead name me because i have a new birth i'm i'm reborn it's very similar to actually it's very similar to christianity i guess but but i i feel like what you're doing is trivializing that decision and that announcement and i think people struggle with that for a very long I'm time not and at some point it. yeah because I think you're saying like, hey, I've just decided I'm just going to be a woman. It's, uh, I've just decided that. But I think people struggle with that for a long time. Of course time. they do. Agreed. It's a very real thing. And it's thing. a very hard thing, especially with the animosity that goes with it. Well, you're, you're, what you're doing is saying, hey, there are people who have real gender dysphoria and they kill themselves as a result. Correct, they Let's do. Let's figure High that suicide. out. Yeah. So yes. you're, you're coming from this from a very compassionate, yeah. inclusive way. And God bless. Yes. I'm not arguing that you're wrong in that respect at right. all. But then you don't have the same compassionate when it comes to the sports. You're like, yeah, yeah as long as they're being able to participate. I guess, but I, don't, I, think it's, does, I don't think but it's equal. I think... Oh, so you think the inclusion... I think whoever... I think the inclusion in our society is more important than whoever wins the 15-year-old soccer game. Let me ask you a question. That's what Kevin, I believe. Kevin, let me ask and you... And we have to sacrifice one for the other sometimes. Okay, so then, so then whatever I say I, I am... So you're lose a I, lot of games. Yeah. yeah. We might. We might. <laughs> but, but who cares? But why can't... What Brian was saying, why can't they there do. be... Why can't there be yeah, another league? I would. You know? What? what if I said I was black? And I want you to treat me like I'm black and I want benefits as a black person. Are you going to use the Edward? I want to be able to do it all. What would you say then? Because that's a feeling. Nah, I, don't, I think that's not the same thing. It, why? Tell me why. Logically. Logically, yes. why? Well, because well, first of all, I don't think that we understand. It's way what more it means plausible that I'd have some black in me than I'd be intersex, right? Sure. So, so you can do your the twenty-three and me. My friend's eighteen percent African American, but he looks Italian as fuck, right? I think it's Frank Grillo. Now, Frank could say, by the way, I actually have some African American. I'm sub-Saharan African, I don't and I want you black. to treat me as black. What, so, so we. Could, what about that? I don't think it's the same thing. Why? Well, I, I don't think that there's a, um, that same struggle. I don't think there's that internal struggle of trying to figure out, you know, who you are. I know how to solve this problem. Let's get a pull-up bar, and let's see what the fuck happens. I I'll see, lose. I want to see I want to see your back. I'll lose. He'll lose, but he does not care. Oh, but I don't care. Back, back, back. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying, though? You don't, you don't see that there's, there's, I don't think there's, there's a those, logic I don't, problem. I don't think those are equivalent situations. Really? Why? I'm, I'm saying, I don't think but, gender and, but if you're and, running a society, don't you think you have to? Don't you think you have to come to that conclusion? If we're running a society, yeah, we, we probably have do. To figure out, yes. Right? So, we but I think, I think whatever rule I make would go more towards the inclusiveness as opposed to the fairness, which so I think Trump, we're different there. Okay, so you I think we're different there. But don't you? You have to have fairness in sports, right? Fair, but you're saying sport. We'd rather they feel so. comfortable than win a game. I guess so. But being fair mm. is inclusive, right? So isn't being fair fair and inclusion are absolutely lockstep shoulder to shoulder i don't know that they are so if, so i would say this to be inclusive like i want to be included in this yeah if you exclude me it's unfair right so if i'm over here i'm unfair i think when you introduce someone who has a physical advantage because that they were born with because they are males and it's a physical activity it seems to me that that person's presence is rather exclusionary to the entire field that has been practicing I don't, I don't buy that. that way. I don't so, buy that. So then LeBron James should I be able to join the I think you're just twisting WNBA. words around to fit I'm what not, you want them to be. I'm not. LeBron James should be able to uh, join the WNBA and score 1,000 points. Do you understand what I, I know? I'm using yeah, 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 but that's not that's not that's not a real situation. But it, but it, but the, when you You're extrapolate, way, when you, I don't know, when you extrapolate, I don't know will, What if we do though, right? So you well, have then to deal we'll with deal with it when it happens. But, but we don't. But have we are. To deal. We're dealing with it now. Leah Thompson, we're not. The classic example. That's one one but person. It it's one person. But it happened. And it's the one that every. It's that boogeyman. Everyone and wants will, to talk but, about. And there was a great deal of of activity to make sure it happened a lot. But I, th I think if enough people come out, like transgender come out, then yeah. they can have their own league, right? Would that be okay? I, I then guess. That's fair. I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I'm not transgender, yeah, I so what, I don't know. I think what it is is you just feel like the... It's interesting because you... 
you are you hold inclusion to be the highest on the, in the highest regard i and when it comes to it sports over regard fairness than, well i i think it's an individual perception of what fairness is right you know and i think that's different from people that's person fair. to person yeah i think i think at high level sports especially at the collegiate level when you're talking about champions and ncaa that the fairness it there has to be fair they all have to start from the well, same even in high school mm -hmm. I mean, high school. Sure, but I'm talking. You're talking about developing. major consequences in in college level. Oh God, like, yeah. You know? You're talking about scholarships. You're talking about, and also. I know, but what like, you're doing, I think it's is you're, you know, taking you the one this example. ball rolling down the field is gaining moss, and the moss really isn't there. Like it's there's this so? fear of this problem that I don't think it exists. Yeah, I, I think it exists, but not to the level of the anxiety you have over it. It's not that I have the anxiety over it. It's what I I think see we're going down as, a slippery slope. I, I'm not anxious about I think the what individuals. We're worried about. I'm not anxious about the individuals. I I get anxious about the actual mindset and ideology that goes along with it. And that ideology is not logical because mm -hmm. it's impossible. Because what you are then saying is that how someone feels. Well, you're doing two Trump things. You're doing two things. Well, I don't know. You're, you're, you're putting you're, a definition on it that may not be the right definition. We are getting rid of categories. Right. But right. you're talking about the, the gender situation being about someone, how they feel or whatever. I mean, I, I can't speak to that. Neither can you. I can Neither speak can. to that. How? You haven't experienced because that. We, because what society's ordered along gender, there, there are gender lines, right? So should we get rid Some of- Some people men? would argue there aren't. So should we get rid of the idea, should we get rid of pronouns altogether? Well, the pronoun is another thing. You guys get so hooked up. You guys, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say that. But people no, who are... I, never, I didn't know what a pronoun was until they were so upset about it. <laughs> I didn't know what pronouns were until I was, I was forced to, to say my pronoun. I don't give a, I, give a shit. I mean, like, yeah, call yourself whatever either. you want to call. Who I don't gives care a either. shit about pronouns? Right. You know, call yourself whatever you want to be called. But who should there be... I, I care if you get up upset at me if I if I met, like, I, I'm just supposed to know your yeah, pronouns. Yeah, but you're, that's the same as someone getting upset at something stupid. Everyone does. Should there be men's and women's sports? Should there be men's? Yes. There should. Why? Yes. Why? Because I think predominantly that's the situation. Okay, but I mean, what I'm trying to say, and I agree, but, but yeah. what I'm saying is that it, 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 there's, a, these, a, there's a demarcation there, right? There, is a, there are men and male and female sports. Yeah. There are men and women, right? Yeah. And why is that? Probably because it made sense. We know why that is. Yeah, it's more complex. That's right. So when you watch yes. Serena Williams said, I don't want to play you, Annie Murray, yeah. you'd crush me. She's the best right. tennis player. She, I think Serena said the number 500 tennis player, the men's tennis player, she wouldn't have a because chance. Goes, yeah, yeah some crazy. The 300 played against so, her. And so, so that's why we have... I love watching tennis, right? So I'm yeah. watching Wimbledon now. I love watching the women just as much as I wa love watching the men. I love watching female MMA fighters pretty much just as much as I love watching. Yeah, fans. I really do, because I think sometimes the skill level. I don't. In a lot yeah. of these, yeah. but, but 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 the skill level in a lot of these <laughs> sports is really similar. They're just not as strong, fast, all that stuff. Yeah. But yeah, but I, I enjoy watching them because I like watching the competition. I like the ferocity of competition. I I root for certain players. We got it. Right. Yeah. That is probably why, because the, the, the playing field becomes more competitive and, and fairer, frankly. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. And so to introduce a man who is inconsequential in the male field at 1,000, yeah. comes in and wins, you don't see a problem with that. Uh, it, it may be a problem, but I'm, that's, that's an outlier, yeah. right? And the reality is, the way I look at it is we love playing sports. We all do, right? We've played sports. Right? And we do it partly because of the camaraderie and to be a part of something and to be a part of a team. And people should have that opportunity. And I think that the, I, I think it's a, what a far infrequent a situation than what you're talking about. It's just an infrequent thing where it doesn't really affect the world or us as opposed to vilifying a group of people who just want to be a part of society and part of, to belong to something. And I think that feeling is more important than every kind of permutation you can think of of a slippery slope of how it undermines our world somehow. You know what I mean? She, she won the swimming thing. Who gives a fuck? You couldn't have named 10 swimmers before she did it. And I know, I know it's offensive to the people who maybe in your mind should have that position. But if I, like I said, if I was that person, I'd be like, you know what? I believe in inclusivity. And I believe that this person should feel like they should belong. And I will make that sacrifice, right? That's what Jesus Christ did. You'll right? make that sacrifice. Isn't that what Jesus Christ did? Yes. yes. I like, I love, I love your yeah. generosity of spirit. Yeah. Right? I think, I think and I, I understand where it's coming from. It's, it's that I, I start to go, hold on now. I, you cannot run a society that way without defining certain things. Well, and I think you can. And defining what a man and a woman is. I think is you can. With that, 
I mean, look at LA's doing that. So We're crushing it. So, so yeah, <laughs> right. So, so children. So, because what happens, Kev, is it goes into it goes. It really does bleed into children. It really does. Now you start to calling. You start calling irreparable, irreparable surgeries. Irreparable drugs like it's, puberty it's, blockers uh, that cause again, a boogeyman. Outlier again. Boogeyman. Outlier again. boogeyman. So then, if that's a boogeyman, please yeah. tell me why the Tavistock Clinic in England has over a thousand lawsuits. And by I don't the know. way, I, I don't know well, the facts I do, of it. And I can't but speak I to do, that. Kev. Yeah, they a thousand lawsuits, Where'd and they you get were your forced be? to shut down. You also you thought they were Starship Troopers. Yeah, it's, that's true. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Right? Yeah. Does right? that, does that, yeah. you, 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 we've got to have these conversations and define those things. Otherwise, what happens is it becomes chaos. Kev, I guess I guess yeah. my thing is I think as a parent, I have a baby girl on the way. Yeah. I think if she was the one that Leah Thompson beat, I would be furious. Right now, I would. And I'm I'd telling like, you, I had that feeling. Yeah, I get you. Yeah, I'd yeah. be on Fox. But news, I don't know like, if she would have that feeling. She might not. Well, my daughter would. She would. Otherwise, she's not going to eat. They didn't. They didn't even stand on the podium. Not going to eat. Right. That's too bad. No. It's too bad, but it's also yeah. understandable. Totally understandable. Yeah. Totally understandable. You know, it's totally so you're saying it's an outlier. There shouldn't be that much up. I don't think. Yeah, I think it's kind of an outlier. And you know what? If I were those girls, I don't know. I feel like I would. I would Let's have say, a great deal of respect them to say do steroids. Say, you know, you understand what this person is going through, and you want to be supportive. Of well, they person. did. Yeah. And by the way, they also knew. And I think they, that's they're that's also big. told if they speak up. That yeah. they would be fucked. By whom? Who told them? By that? the by the NCAA yeah, swimming I'd, officials. I'd be surprised if that happened. And they all said that. And I'd I, be surprised. And, that and that. if you're so surprised by it, yeah. why was Riley Gaines? And you can see it on video. You can just bring it up. Why was she not able to get out of her fucking classroom when those activists wouldn't let her out and they were screaming at her? Well, I've Come heard different. I've you're heard acting different, like these people are all. Well, like, I've heard know. different reviews of that. I heard have, someone put have a have hand on her shoulder. Video? Have you that, seen the video? Yeah, I've seen it. Kip, okay. Kip, I, I guess what gets nice for me. Is I think there's some people that actually it's a very small percent. You're talking about less than one percent of the population yeah. in North America, the world. I don't know, but in North America, one percent. I think some people are actually born in the wrong body, and they have, and it must be awful. I can't yeah. imagine. Yeah. And I think there's some people where it's it could be a mental health thing, where they, they feel like they need the surgery, they get the surgery. We've seen people that get the surgery, they're more suicidal, mm -hmm. where they maybe they made a mistake. Yeah. So I think that that's where and you can never lines, enjoy sex. That's again. where lines get blurred. Again. You know. Yes. Well, I think there's some people. It must be awful. I can't imagine. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. And sure. then there's some where it's just like you're just yeah. confused at twelve. Yeah, I mean, I don't think there's any kind of blanket statement about it. You yeah. know, it affects right. everyone the same way or whatever it is. But. So I, I don't disagree. Like I, I think we get muddled up with the ideas. Like you don't want to make fun of somebody for being, you know. No. Like I don't either, and I don't want them to feel. And bad. there are group. They are a group of people. Despite there are a group of people who uh, have been vilified. And they're misunderstood. Yes, yes. And they don't I'm have not, a lot of champions. I'm not into that. Yeah, yeah. You know, I don't want to hurt somebody's. Like we all, yeah. we've had, we've had transgender people on this podcast. No, we yeah. haven't. Yes, we have. Who? The Warrior Princess, the Navy Seal. Oh yeah, Kristen Beck, the you Navy know? Seal. I mean, <laughs> don't be, don't act like it's like you're once a week. Yeah, but but uh, but <laughs> I had worked, one Navy Seal. I worked on Mad TV with somebody who was a f fully fully transitioned. Yeah. So this guy who's trying not to sound racist. Like, I have a black friend. But this, <laughs> but this stuff, no, but, that no, guy. It, it that, exists. That coffee. The tr gender dysphoria, whatever you want to call it, exists, and the suicide rate is higher. It's so. So here's a stat for you, just to back Another you up for stat, a second. Another stat. I have. Another stat. Transgender people Kev. kill themselves almost at a forty. I think it's forty-seven percent. Forty-two between forty-two and forty-seven. Now that's terrible, right? The, the, even in slavery, back in slavery day, like in, in the United States, the, the suicide rate wasn't that high. So the only people that have the same suicide rate are, are paranoid schizophrenics. So it's a fucking terrible thing. So if you have a child that kills themselves because they're transgender, this is where the passion comes in. Because people are like, well, how do we stop this? But you're saying they kill themselves because they're transgender or because they're denying who they are? I think it's it's because they were born in the wrong body and and unfortunately I'm just saying what, what your status the data, is in favor of what is that is that yeah, well, they, no, I, they understand, never got the I understand I understand the passion behind trying to protect them got it I understand the understanding well, of like, you're ready to storm the cap no I understand you Am saying right? hey man I like we need like why not be inclusive like I yeah. get it yeah I just think I think it's worth going about it the wrong way going about being inclusive the wrong way yeah yeah I do I think we're going about it, and I think I don't these. think it's even a fraction of as big as a problem in our society. Well, I, people I agree. Being with, yeah, I, agree I agree with that 100. percent I agree with that. Yeah, I think you're right. I think Brian's been I wrong. Think, this I think the news makes a, a fortune. The news makes yeah. a fortune of taking these these extreme examples, and your algorithm lies. Guess who like, eats it this, up? You know this guy. Am I right? No, I just worry about. <laughs> I'm the glad he stuck it to you. I know. I don't know that I did stick it to you, but I mean.
Boy, well, we went on a little tangent, though, didn't we? Woo, yeah, yeah. boy. I enjoyed it. You've said I, zero words. Yeah, yeah. And I appreciate that. <laughs> well, but I've never had a co- conversation had with somebody who was, I've never had anybody defend it like that. Oh, I That's love it. To me. I live for this conflict. So Kevin is a, is a lawyer in two states. <laughs> Are you? I am. Yeah. You're a lawyer? Yeah. <laughs> ah, you fuck. You have your law degree? degree? I do. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. He represented the Thompson. I'm fighting, fighting a fucking <laughs> lawyer over here, this motherfucker. He's, I'll tell you what I would have done. What cases do you, what do you, what do you study? Uh, I, my, I, mean, I graduated from law school civil rights. and then we started making movies. So where'd, I never, you to, where'd you go to law school? I went to Brooklyn Law School. You motherfucker, you yeah. lawyer. He's a yeah. smart fucking dude. Fucking, I, I'm getting hustled <laughs> over here. I've had these conversations with him several times. It's tough to win, right? Well, you know what? There is no winning. That's the thing. Well, yeah, he's a there lawyer. Is. He's a lawyer. Yeah. And lawyers focus on the fucking outlying situations. <laughs> no, but it's, you know, it's, it's interesting though, because it's like, it is as a, as a professional debater, you realize that there are like there are times where it's like there's no fucking point in having this conversation because whatever you say, there's going to be another. Yeah, but we no, we uh, we arrived at a conclusion. Oh, I don't. The conclusion think, is I don't he think holds inclusion oh, no. higher. No, no, you read that completely. <laughs> he thinks wrong. inclusion is more important than fairness, and he's not American. He's yeah. also a communist. It's un-American. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So we know he's a communist. Very American. Yeah. Yeah. And I drink fucking Budweiser too, like an American, like a like a uh, Bud Light. Americans drink Bud Budweiser. Light. I think uh, Dylan Mulvaney, that that transgender woman, is is trolling everybody anyway. Well, now she, but now she, but she's pissed, right? Pissed. She's pissed at Bud Light because they didn't stick by her, right? I think Bud Light needs to lean into it and just go gayer. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm them, I really lean into. That it. was the Farley, wasn't yeah, that wasn't Farley like thing? Bud Gay, Bud, Bud Gay. Was, was the, it? Was that Farley? Uh, uh, that's that's that whole thing. Yeah. Like, remember their big commercial oh, yeah. when I was a kid was like, what the? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, They yeah, could yeah. redo that Fuck with gay. Kevin, you're, you're a lawyer. With, uh, yeah. <laughs> what In the? two states. Yeah. California? Here it no. Is. New York. Oh, this was great. Yeah, oh, we're at the this, pool? Schmitz gay. Yeah. Schmitz gay. Right, right, that's right. Right, 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 right. Oh, this is oh, We can't play it, but we'll that's play it. That's all right. Here. It's for yeah. us. That's great. <laughs> so funny. I'm offended. Yeah, if I'm Bud Light, just lean into it. Like, they sponsored sure. the gay pride thing. Yeah. And people are like, it's ridiculous. I'm like, no, they're doing exactly what they should do. Yeah. Like, at least have some audience. Well, that definitely, the the market got moved a little bit on them, I guess. So, I don't know. Maybe that's part of the problem. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. three billion. Yeah, people took that. that, that they, they have not recovered. No. That, right? No, it keeps, yeah. No, but they will. Yeah, they will. They, they fucking sh- Budweiser, bro. Yeah, dude. It's the king of beers. Yeah, a little time out. He'll be fine. Americans, <laughs> Americans really just Americans can't hold the attention span. Americans are like, remember like the hole in the ozone layer or layer or fucking acid rain? We're like, sure. I don't know. If I can now, it's like <laughs> we just forget about shit. It just goes away. It right? just depends, or or it ruins them. Like sometimes it, it can ruin companies. It'll ruin. Yeah. Well, Budweiser's not going anywhere. Not nah, a bush. Right. They'll be all right. Yeah, this should be all right. People are like, I mean, you drink them. I drink Budweiser. Yeah. People are like this. I love you got a Budweiser, Budweiser like, beer can yeah. on ice. Is one of the finest. But would you drink it things. at like a Padres game and there's like a bunch of people around? Yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Most but, like I was, I was doing shows in Covina and uh, there, there was these guys and the, they were like, hey man, can you get a picture? And their arms were all like this. I'm like, what's behind your back? Like I was like, what's going on? And I thought they were going to shoot me. And the guy's like, no, 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 no. And they bring in their Bud Lights. That's all they had. I'm like, I don't give a shit. I went, you're gay, but I don't give a shit. Yeah, I don't care. And they're like, can we take the picture out the Bud Light? I'm like, you guys care, huh? And they're like, oh, yeah. But Damn. you don't drink beer. You don't care. Um, Are you a beer guy? I wouldn't order Bud Light. Yeah. No. See, but okay. I don't. I, Not, but just because. Because you don't like Bud Light or just because, you know. I don't like when they don't push it down my throat. I I, it. Like, it. Uh, it all tastes the same to me. I don't really got care. It, got it. Okay. I like Peroni. <laughs> but we we, we 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 had a marine call on my on my other show golden hour and uh he's like in the barracks like he's a marine he's getting shipped over and i i said hey real quick man uh, is there bud light on like the premises he's like no 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 and, and he's like oh no man we don't play that shit i'm like well hold on you won't drink bud light he's like no not at all i'm like why though like it's just i, don't know, I find that thing. crazy no, that I'll is yeah, this, i do Kev. find it crazy. yeah me too i was like no, oh, that's yeah. crazy because it's like i i find that see my version of that is i love uh my bidets <laughs> I love my fucking bidet. I like a nice bidet. Man. It's I fucking love. great. But there is a Keep whole clean. chunk of dudes who are like, that's gay. I'm like, what is gay about a bidet? I'm and they're like putting asshole? something in your asshole. And I'm like, dude, so you have a, a dirty fucking asshole homophobe 
Yeah. You stay yeah. there. Yeah. yeah. I have the fucking most spotless asshole on this planet. Yeah, it is. It, yeah, yeah, it is weird what hill they die well, on. Well, you know, I was like, man, that's gay. Turn on the UFC. Let's watch these guys. You know, it's like, all right. But dude. I, I do yeah. think that we are all fucking being told to look over here when the big problems are over here, right? So to your to like like the well, trade, when we're like, divisive, that's well, what they just want. Like the trade, like fucking now, the culture wars between right wing and left wing Republicans and Democrats is about things like this. It's about like. Uh, fucking transgender shit, right? Or, and Bud Light. Or get, don't say gay and stuff like that. Yeah, that yeah. stuff. When, like, inflation yes. and the the big things, like the real money issues, the interest rate which is the, houses, amount, right, the amount of money we're spending and what Gas. labor statistics are and stuff, that's what actually matters. Yeah. And how much we're actually spending and can Airplane we afford tickets. entitlements. Yeah, but sure. that's not sexy, man. No, no, no it's Literally, not. all of us are yeah. talking about Leah Thomas when we should be talking about fucking No, we inflation. say all this, you. Well, he's a lawyer. We talked about it. Yeah. We just yeah. talked about it. No, Ryan's saying we came to common ground. Like, mm -mm. No, he doesn't believe that girls should have yeah. sports. <laughs> <laughs> you guys like bidets? I love them. Uh, I yes, I do. Love I drank out of one when I was a kid. I thought it was a water oh, fountain. Really? My uncle had one. I've never seen him. I'm like, this is sick. So a water fountain it. by the toilet? Do you have <laughs> one? In your house, either of you guys? No, I I wash my ass in the sink. <laughs> he does it at restaurants. I've seen it. It's yeah, disgusting. I mean, don't say restaurants, but I've done You've it. You've done it before. Done your it. wife sent me a picture of you doing it yeah. in a restaurant. It wasn't and I've been in multiple it was at restaurants. Home. I've been in multiple well, restaurants. I live in a what? restaurant, guys. But like your pants are down by the sink, and yeah, and he's going, just give me a second, and open the door. I'm like, this, all right. And I gotta go eat finger food. Did I stick my ass in the sink right in front of you? Yeah, then? dude, and I enjoyed it. We're close. <laughs> uh, I would have a bidet. I, I enjoy them when I people have, have one. I'm like, oh damn! Look I, at you. I have three in my house. Slight flex, dude. You have three. I do. Is okay. it the toilet or did you add on to? No, the, no. I got is that, that from. Super he Super had it put in his trailer on the set. He had the yeah. Teamsters so, put. Let me just say, fucking let me just say bidet something. in his trailer. You want to know guts? You're and kidding. you asked me, if, like, yes, I'll drink a Bud Light. I went up to the <laughs> fucking most hairy, tattooed fucking Teamster in season two because <laughs> the president of the network sent sent us bidets. Really? Well, because he and I, were, we were at dinner. We were talking about what, that we're sensitive anus people. And he was like, have you tried a bidet? I'm like, no. And he's like, I'm, I'm going to send, send you a bidet. Now, what's a sensitive anus person? Sensitive anus. Like, if I, like on Sundays, if I've taken like three poops or something like that, my butthole gets irritated. <laughs> yeah. From I mean, sometimes my underwear at night, man. I'm like, how? I'm 40. No, I, I, I got to <laughs> <things. I gotta laughs> clean my shitter. Because then I'm in that category. Yeah, exactly. Maybe you now, should get a bidet, bro. Yeah, I got to get that Tacoma money, dude. Yeah, yeah. well, you know, so so... I went up to the fucking Teamster. This guy is <laughs> definitely like a, you know. Like, Hell's Angel? Probably. Yeah. And I was like, I know you hear some pussy ass actor shit. And this is going to be pussier and more actory than anything you've ever heard. But will you please install a bidet in my trailer? <laughs> and he fucking laughed at me. He's like, that is the fucking pussiest <laughs> actor shit I've ever fucking heard in my life. And he went and did it. And then we did an episode about uh, my character getting a bidet in Tacoma FD. <clears throat> Season three started, that teamster came up to me. He's like, brother, life changing. <laughs> I went and finally got a fucking bidet. That shit, I live by that yeah. shit. That is the fucking, because of you, I got that fucking well, bidet. Yeah. Keeps your fucking, asshole clean. That's how it yeah. starts. Otherwise, you got shit in your back, you know. Well, then I tell people. You can and, clean and your ass all the ways. Like, I mean, you know. No. Well, See, there's a traditional he's a way. He's like a toilet bidet guy. He's a, no, no. He's a non-bidet hey, Here's guy. what I don't like about the bidet. This is my problem with it. Was it's, not, that, it's not inclusive. It's not inclusive. Well, it's not. There, there's no hot water setting on the one that we had, right? So it's cold oh, water. I like cold I water shooting in your that. asshole. And you I get can't. Because you can get the hot water. Yes. But it's Europe, a, Europe bidets are like everywhere. Yeah, it's a, it's but so like the cold thing is like like to me that's a fucking wake up pick me up in the morning. That's better than a, than a shot of espresso. Yeah, like it's that. like a nice cold, ah, ice cold on your asshole. I don't like asshole. that at all. Yeah, woo! It's it's like, just, woo! It just sprays everywhere though. Like it's it is a mess, right? Well, when it's wet. You, well, you have to be <laughs> like everything. I prefer, I prefer a faucet that's going down. That right. way you can clean it. This Brian way. takes one and splashes it. I up. don't it's splash a mess. it. That's not how I do it. You go but like this. Do you put your finger? You don't know how I clean my asshole. Yeah, I've seen it, dude. Do you put your finger in your asshole to clean it? I sure don't. You okay. mean do I go like this? I don't like in the shower. I don't so, clean so the inside me, of my so shitter. Let me just say this. So I, let me I just say do this. that every once in a while. You You're, do? Well, I'll just get in there and clean out. Your yeah, hand, but I don't your hands stick my fingers in the shower. No, I don't. I don't like you know insert. He sits on his fingers. No, I. What I'm saying is that if you are baking a cake. Yeah. And you've got your frosting tube. Yeah. <laughs> you frost, you put the frosting on the cake, and I then like you this. wipe, you wash that nozzle, you wi wipe it clean and everything. 
there's still frosting inside the nozzle. Yeah, I suck it out. Well, I don't know That's what you're that. eating. I don't know what you're eating, but when I pinch a loaf, I'm clean, uh, you know. So you think. So you think. Hey, man, this is getting crazy. You got a dirty asshole. Oh, damn it. Yeah, dirty asshole. I think it's clean, but it's dirty on the inside. Because cause I'm a fucking master uh, bedamon, mm. <laughs> and I will, I'll sit there for like 20 extra minutes and fire the, I'll fire it up. Get it up there. My butt until my butt has no more room and sprays it back out and stuff comes out. You're a gay guy. Like I don't have time dude. for that. Like what comes out? He's a super bottom. Who? Like, like food? <laughs> Carrots. <laughs> Corn. Every, everything. Like, you know, like, like, um, a bird, Almost a small like, bird, like <laughs> like film, like films, you know, like th like like layers that were like, ah, uh, oh. you might need those, man. You think? You it think sounds like you're too high yeah. up in there. Yeah, but I haven't had a skid mark in five years. That's what makes me jealous. Me neither. And I haven't had an itch. Oh, my underwear. Are nice, you don't man. clean your shitter. I tried my best. You're you're the worst. Other, I mean, he'll sit on a fucking public john with. He's just like fuck. I don't off, care. And he's just like oh, see, wipes it twice, and he's that's why I tell that's why I tell my wife when she kept buying white underwear. I'm like, what are you doing? You know we need dark colors. Camouflage is best. Do you? <laughs> do you <laughs> just get shit stained. She gets shit colored underwear. Do you get look brown underwear? Brown stuff to find. Are you a blind wiper? Like, will you just wipe and and? Stand no, up? I'll look. I'm like, look. man, this is a nightmare. Because I've met. <laughs> now I'm like, I gotta get out of here. <laughs> Have you ever met a, a person take, that doesn't take look? Me an hour. Would you say? Have you ever met a person that doesn't know. look? I I, I've never. Talked. I feel like I have. I've. You definitely have. Yeah. We know a guy. You. Who, no, not oh, me. Oh. No, no, his asshole. I look right the now. whole. He doesn't have to eat look. off his asshole. He doesn't have right to look. You, you I eat actually off could. the inside of his asshole. You could. You I could know. open it up, put a fucking ice cream cone in yep. there. Yeah, and it'd be fine. Your, yeah, lick the ice cream cone and then. Yeah, if I had not to do get it. hepatitis. Yeah, if I had to and do not it. Get <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah. hey, it'd be hep free. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Jim. What else you got? <laughs> get me out of this fucking. Oh, brother, God. Well, this point is, we like bidets. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, the Undertaker Whoa. and his wife, Michelle McCool, found a shark. I like that he's protecting her. What do you do? Do you punch it? The tombstone powder. Oh, he's he's between them right now. But maybe if she just got out of the water, the it wouldn't be a problem. Lemon shark. Oh, he's staring it down. She's on a boat. That's a lemon shark. Oh, she's on a boat? Impressed. Oh, no, no she's, on, she's on the shore. They can just walk out of the water. <laughs> I don't find this to be a very threatening situation. Yeah. yeah. I've read that you fucking rescued somebody from like a burning vehicle. Yeah. Yep, right off the 101. That's fucking here. Yep, right up here. That's like real. I saw fucking the video. Shit. Yeah, it was intense. And Super intense. And I and I and I, I I've, I've been some like high trauma stuff. And I was supposed to go to this uh, double date dinner. I still showed up at the dinner, and I was just like, they're like, are you okay? And I had blood on my shirt. And they're like, what is what the fuck happened? And I was like, I you should probably go. I was like, I should probably go. Yeah, and I left. Yeah, were you could, were you a little fucked up? I you, like, was. Soot and I had shit to see a therapist. Or? Yeah, I had glass and oh, stuff. Oh, really? Oh, he saw yeah. bad shit. Yeah, yeah. But 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 they yeah. the cops br um, brought him in to be a witness to this because the guy tried to kill his family, and uh, you said that it was amazing. Everything was on video, like everything. Oh man, what do you they, mean? they brought me in. The the California uh, Highway Patrol brought me in to co corroborate the story. Right, so and, and I'm going through everything. They write it down, write it down, and then uh, he's like, "As a promise, like, TMZ's calling," and he's like, and, "You know, so, sometimes celebrities." I was like, "I'm not a celebrity." Like, sometimes celebrities will make things up so the news gets out there. I'm like, "I don't want this going anywhere, man." Like, that's not why I did it. I'm giving my story. I'm gonna get out of here. And so I tell him, like, "All right, cool, man. Yeah, checks out." I'm like, "Yeah, no shit." So I'm leaving. He's like, "You want to see something?" And they show up on the lap. They have a laptop, and there's cameras all over the 101, all over the highways. They document everything. Really? Everything. Everything. So he had it. So everything. I, because I was going to do a nice dinner, so I had on these tight jeans and Gucci boots. And he's like, "Is that you? You see my Porsche go flying by? The accident <laughs> happens, and you see me running in my tight jeans and Gucci." He's like, "Is that you?" I'm like, "I think so." <laughs> then you see me running through gasoline because it, they it was a gasoline truck that the father ran into try and commit suicide with him and his family oh my god and he gets out of the car and i kids just, in the car kids in the car oh, the, how old? the wife died uh there's four kids or three kids in the car like i think the oldest is probably nine or ten. Oh, jesus nine or ten and then the i was running through gas and i remember just all oh, this strong gasoline smell and then when i got to the car the you know mom's gone but the i, I didn't know what was going on and i thought they just got hit, and I see this guy running, like this like chubbier, like Mexican student the father? beater, the father, yeah. run away from the scene. I'm like, where the fuck is he going? But he's going down the 101, and then a car goes, boom, hits him. I see him, boom, fall. I'm like, well, he's dead. I'm going to get these kids. 
And I look over and he pops up like a night stalk, like the White Walker. And Jesus. Groans. He's like, Whoa. gets up and keeps running. I'm like, what the fuck is he? Why mm. was he doing that? Because he He's tried to commit away. the family. Yeah. Then I got the kids out, handed off. I was like, I want nothing to do with this. Jump back in my car and go to dinner. <laughs> oh my God. But the, what, the C, what the cops said, they're like, man, we wish you would have stayed. Because that dad came back around and he was trying to do like death by police, suicide by police. He was like trying to fight us. Like, oh. we'd love for you to put on a show for us if we came back. I'm like, boy, would I ever. If I knew he was trying to kill his kids, I would have sure. given you guys a show. Sure. Yeah. God yeah. Damn it was it. intense. Pull his head off his spine. Yeah, it was really That's intense. Fucking horrible. Oh, oh, dude. And the, the kid was so young, like his mom, he's like, I want my mom. And I, I'm like, where's your mom? He's like, she's in the front. I go to look and yeah. the mom's, you know, bad, bad brains. I'm yeah. like, oh, don't look. I'm trying to ask him his favorite, like Disney movie. Oh, man. So I hand to the lady and she's like, I'll take him this way. I'm like, don't go that way. Oh. Go that way. She's like, why? I'm like, yeah, I don't want him to see his mom. Yeah. It's going to affect him the rest of his life. Go that way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I, I'm still in communication with, so the kids went with their aunt and that we raised a bunch of money for their GoFundMe and the kids are doing better now. Okay. Yeah. God damn it. What a horrible thing. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah, it was tough. Oh, man. Horrible, man. So awful. Good for you, though, man. Fucking hero. I was driving the gasoline truck. How do you think I feel? You son of a bitch. <laughs> you See what I did there? Bitch. See what I did there, guys? You hit the guy coming down the road. <sighs> that was you. That's, yes, I did. That's a vehicle cutter right there. <laughs> yes, I did. I That's a treat provider. That's a treat provider. Why, why, is so, why is this podcast so heavy? What the fuck's going <laughs> on? Yeah, guys, we've really covered it. Fucking it's really. Come on, we covered Krug. It was like substantive. And you know. <laughs> yeah, and I was just arguing for America, Kev. Uh, hey, well, you're right. You're right. How bad was that Undertaker video? <laughs> <laughs> Let's just be honest. What's he just doing? Just stand there looking at the He was just right? like this. Yeah. And wife's like, I am so scared right now. Thank God my knight in shining armor. Yeah. Do you think just, that shark was like, oh my God, it's the Undertaker? Yeah, sure, holy <laughs> shit. That guy's from the dead. I don't want to fuck with him. Yeah. That shark wanted to eat the Undertaker. He would eat the Undertaker. Do you know? Or, like, no. Here's a quick one real quick because... Yeah. Jamie oh, Foxx has been it. out of the news for a while. People have no idea what's going on with him, but he was in public on a boat. I'm on a boat. There he is. He looks fine. Oh. Everyone said like his face was even messed up. He seems all right. Yeah, I mean, he's also. <laughs> what, do we, so. what do we playing know? We don't, we don't know the facts, right? About yeah, what no happened. one knows anything about him. Is that him, him golfing? Yeah, Top Golf, yeah. I'm Wait, who's so that? Is that him? Fucking Jamie Foxx. Yeah. He's okay. I'm so fucking Oh, he's so playing golf? Right, playing golf. I thought he was going, he was partially blind. Partially yeah, we've heard all paralyzed. sorts of things. He looks good. And then yeah, his daughter came out because the news ran when the daughter came out. I was like, that is not, I was just with him yesterday. He's fine. He looks good. But that's the So media, wait, was it all bullshit though? The no, he was in the hospital for a long time. Oh, yeah. And what is known about He had a happened. stroke. And they, oh, they right. think, yes, and he had They're trouble moving his body. From, he, he got the shot something. and that led to his stroke. Oh, oh. That's the rumor, but who knows what's real? Sure, who's, right. And then obviously the media runs with it. They're like, yeah, he's never going to be the same. And then here he is on a fucking yacht with hose and stuff doing his thing. Seems like he's all right. You guys ever worked with him? No. No. So I've seen him around. Like he, um, he lives over yeah, he lives in this up area. Yeah, yep. yeah. I've seen him around. Yeah. But he's great. That guy's so fucking talented. Oh, man. The, Did you work with him? He might be the most talented. I've never worked with him. I've, I've spent a little time with him. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, Couple times and he's great, such a great guy. But I'm such yeah. a fan. Oh yeah, uh, who's, who's guy's not? unbelievably talented. It's like the Black Brian Callen. That's the. <laughs> That's what they say on the street. I don't know if his, yeah. I don't know if his back is as I hate broad as yours. He's very sinewy. It's not. It's not. It's not. Yeah. It's not. It is annoying when they compare you guys. I'm better at whipping sports. Like if I have to play tennis, where you whip your body or you, you know. But uh, but in in straight <laughs> power sports, he's better. He's got more power. What's this? So a Georgian mayor, he saw a house on a lake. He thought it was his, he was like, this is my dream house. He okay. approached it. The homeowner held him at gunpoint until the police arrived. Uh, he responded to this with yelling, you know who the F I am. And wasn't very happy. Well, I don't blame him. And were the police uh, in the force that, of the town that he was the mayor in, or is yeah. it a different town? It's the same time. Kevin, you okay. can represent him because this is a classic example of <laughs> racial profiling. This is where being black is different than being white, where people are like, I, I get arrested for looking at a house. And the guy was like, oh, No, he sure. broke in the house, bro. Yeah, so his thing, his alibi you was. Fucking cut. He, he thought broke it was, into oh, a house. Sorry. <laughs> he was like, I'm the mayor. Yeah. And the guy's like, This is my house. He broke Brian's in, like, This is LeBron. Wait, wait. He broke into. I thought he was just looking at the house. So I don't he, he broke, broke into in, the Breaking into the Lake House. He thought it was an abandoned house. So that's the thing. I don't know if he broke in or not, but Breaking, he was in this person. And then the guy yelled at him several times, and he replies, do you know who the fuck yeah. I am? 
And then uh, I'm the mayor. I'll wait for uh, my police to get here and see what happens. And they arrested his dumb ass. And then he apologized to the it police. It sounds like he <laughs> might have been fucked up. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, too. Oh, that's interesting. He was Maybe also he in was. previous hot water for spending $1,000 of government money on a TikTok Uh-oh. to celebrate the fifth year that's anniversary the house? of something. Yes. Looks, like, yeah. Looks a little run down to me. Yeah. <laughs> Not a dream. I think, I think you're always in trouble. And I, you know, maybe you guys have done this before. I don't know. Yeah. But when you say, do you know who I am? That's a that That's become. always a thing. That's an issue. That's that, always a thing. That's you know, an issue. You know you're in the wrong place. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's also not good to. Do you know who I am? It's also not good to break into a house i don't know that's not yours is what i'm saying sure i like that, that brian was sure. like this is the problem with america man poor black guy it's like what the fuck are you talking about dude <laughs> yeah i'm sorry you're the I problem i didn't realize that yeah. come on Callan. <laughs> no you're he's the, the liberal he's the fucking guy who wants to be inclusive <laughs> i guess black people should be allowed to break in the house i think i'm more moderate than that but, you know, it's okay <laughs> he's, a little, he's a little more moderate yeah the mayor made his trespassing. Made it, yeah, no he knew he was transgender. It'd be fine right. for you, Kevin. He was new, yeah. So he knows that's a crime. As long as he's a law. law. Is that it, Chin? That's it, man. Wow. Fellas, uh, do you guys have stuff to plug? <laughs> Awkward. It's been such a heavy fucking day. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were getting out of there like, you saved a family and the mom died, right? I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> I didn't go. know. I, I just, hey, like, hey, yeah, Steve, you brought that. In my you were mind, having fun about bidets, and you're like, yeah, this is fun. <laughs> hey, you saw a dead lady, right? Dead I didn't know any of that. I, to, to me, in my mind, you were like, fucking slow motion running with like a No, that's if woman. I told the story. Yeah. And that's that, because I lied. With your back. <laughs> yeah, with your. <laughs> I, yes. No, I picked her up and uh, revived her. And, yeah. Let's see, Tacoma FD. <laughs> <laughs> uh, season four premieres uh, July, July 20th. 20th. July 20th, season 20th. four, Thursday, Tacoma 20th. FD. True TV. On True TV, True TV. with Encore broadcast on TBS, and then the first three seasons are on uh, oh, Max. Counts blown. He's <laughs> <laughs> yawning in the middle of your phone. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. Super Troopers. By the way, for the record, I, you, both of you are some of my favorites. Uh, just as people. Yeah, we love you guys. Oh, man. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. And, uh, um, let's, and I, you, I was bummed that you were you were fucking killing me on school. So we had a good time. We did have a good time. Yeah, we had a good time. That was fun. Yeah, we got canceled. There so. I am. <laughs> Blue Room, Missouri. Are you plugging? Missouri. I'll be there uh, Friday, July twenty first, July twenty second, and then I'm at the Ontario. Blue Room's Improv. such a great Ontario room. Improv. What July are twenty eighth, twenty ninth. Look at that. The upper right one. What are you? What joke are you telling there? <laughs> <laughs> it's about a bird. Something probably about a bird. Something shitty. Probably about a bird. God, that, that looks like the hackiest. I look like the hackiest asshole. Who's doing my pictures? <laughs> so you are. Are you doing them yourself or no? You got somebody? Yeah, I got somebody. I'm you got a person doing that? Yeah, I'm the worst. Oh, look at that. Wait, look at this shot though. Look at this. This is a fucking good looking shot right here. It's good What's up? Oh, yeah, oh. look at that. What's up? Kids a looker. I just watched the um, the Wham documentary on Netflix. Which one? Wham. Uh, Wham. It's uh, Wham. They just came George out. Michael. Yeah, George yeah. Michael. Oh yeah. I'll tell him before. No, that's uh, that's no, it's called Culture Club. Club. It's Culture Club. Super what is Wham? Is uh, Wham come, is come George up? Michael? No, that's Careless it. Whispers. Yeah, yeah. I'm come never come gonna come dance again. again. No, that's Culture yeah. Club. God damn it! I'm never wake me up before I go go. Again. Yeah, oh, wake whisper. me up before I go. Yeah, right. right. That's yeah. Wham. That's what you do. The How was it? It's great if you you know if you if you like Wham. But the but the real thing is that like George Michaels is always like well lit like that, looking good so like that. Saying, good that's hair, good fucking like good hair. Oh, gotcha. You know what I mean? Sure, that's a laugh actor lighting there. So look at that good hair though. I'll yeah, take it, man. He's got good hair, dude. Uh, I got a bunch of tour dates coming up uh, in August to be announced by the end of this week. Next one around, I'm at the Laugh Factory Thursday night. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm at the Comedy Store Thursday night. Laugh Factory, I think Friday, Saturday, doing spots in LA. Shopping friends at Pasadena Ice House, July 28th, 8 p.m. show, I think. Spokane's on there, Skankfest Vegas, Niagara Falls, but we got a bunch coming up, so stay tuned. Spokane goes to Tacoma. You should go see the firehouse. Spokane, I think, yeah. I think the same guy same owns owners, both clubs. Yep. Yep, yeah, yep. They own both clubs. Do you shoot any stock footage in Tacoma or no? No. No. I mean, people get mad that we should, but, you know, it costs, that costs money, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, go shoot some, you, know, you can get that stuff off the internet, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Cheap. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Google Tacoma. Well, we love guys. you guys, man. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for all your Thank you. Cal, and that was fun. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you. I know you did one. You did one. Thank you.